All right, we're live, and my camera's not working. Good. That's good. That's a good start. <laughs> Uh, okay. First, what up, Frosty? <sighs> see, this is why. Okay, let's see if it works now. Hey, there we go. Now I just gotta fix this again because reasons. Because reasons. Welcome to E3 2003. We covered 2002. There's still more to cover in 2002. I re-downloaded that video that we were having problems with. And so we got about, uh, I don't know, 40 minutes left of 2002. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. Maybe the end of the video. Because this is, this is going on YouTube. And this is, uh, and this is, um, <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on, let me get that. Let me see if this will work. Nothing works for me. It do, just nothing works. As I click on the wrong tab and go to congressional bills and see what bills were passed by Congress recently. Uh, <clears throat> no, we want blurps. Uh, I should be logged in. Anyway, I'm holding on this image because um, I think this might be a good thumbnail. This Konami image. So... Yeah, I hope you're ready for some 2003. End of this video, we'll probably go back to 2002, finish what we started. But this is the 20th uh, anniversary, basically. Größtes Highlight natürlich die Metal Gear. So this one's in German, but I think it eventually goes to English. The audio is only in one ear. Ring für Backyard Pitfall Harry, die wiederbelebte Boiling of Football wird in verschiedenen Editions. Okay, I don't know why. This is a good start. <clears throat> Miles away from a Nintendo Switch. Wait, what? I don't. I don't even get that. I don't even understand that. Hmm. Irgendwie er in Damn it. Hmm. Well, okay, bad start. We do have this video, which we did start. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> that makes sense. All right, so where do we leave off on this video? We skip Game Boy Advance to solve puzzles and defeat in it to leave. We didn't we actually only skipped around. New handheld entertainment platforms in 2004. Uh-oh, new handheld. The name of this new platform is called PSP. Yes, PlayStation Portable. Yeah. It's simple. It's simple <laughs> really. We put out PSP's the PSP. Small body. We created a new and small optical disc. Hey, okay. here, here you go. This is a prototype of this disc. It has a capacity of 1.8 gigabyte. Oh, well, let me put Three chat up there. Three times larger than CD-ROM. Okay, chat should be showing up now. The most advanced optical ROM technology, along with the latest security system, will be employed to prevent piracy. Whatever. 3D graphics will be rendered by both polygons. It was a 15-year-old who was kidnapped and assaulted. The rendered image. Monitor switching. Wow. Creators will be able to create exciting characters with smooth. Nothing works. N nothing works. This is a polygon world. Blurp is a liar. Liar. In it to leave. We told you that we'd have more than 200 great games by holiday. And we promised- I give up. I give up. To new levels. We told you that Xbox was the platform designed for the future Nothing of digital does. entertainment. Nothing. And we promised that that design would pay off with Xbox Live. 
So tonight, first things first, we have delivered. We've delivered with the highest attach rate on record just 17 months after launch. We have delivered Xbox Live in 11 countries with over half a million gamers playing over 15 million game sessions every week. Game sessions. <laughs> and we've delivered new experiences that have changed the nature of video game entertainment. With that, Robbie, I think you should tee up the promises of this year. Thanks, guys. So you know how it takes me a long time to set up for streaming? Now, apparently, every time I stream, I have to, like go through and delete all my <clears throat> browser sources and then redo them again. So that's fun. Cool. By design, Xbox is ready to inspire this industry to expand by connecting people with more games, more community, and more varieties of entertainment more of the time. Tonight, we're gonna show you how. Show me. Doom Square. I remember that game. I never played it, Xbox but... Xbox games just keep getting better. They're more competitive and more lifelike. More breathtaking and more hard No, stopping. you're breathtaking. And that's because we are enabling developers to realize their creative potential like no other console company. So when Bizarre Creations wanted to evolve Project Gotham Racing... Project Gotham stars, Racing. ...an amazing online play, I said, go for it. And when LucasArts asked to debut their next big Star Wars game tonight here at this show, <clears throat> oh, oh, I said, awesome. I said, awesome, bro. Yeah, we were. And we were talking about Code Tour as well. They showed a little bit of Code Tour, but. Uh... That. Is that like an EDF game? Oh. Oh, this is Republic Commando. I don't think I played this game. What up, Sake? I don't think I played Republic Commando. I'm aware of it. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the great titles coming from Japan. Hino-san and his team at Level 5 have been working for two years to create True Fantasy Live Online, the first massively multiplayer online role-playing game designed specifically for Xbox. And another great title oh, coming is that, exclusively is that? to Xbox Mag? is Namco's Breakdown. It innovates on the first-person shooter category by adding hand-to-hand -hand combat that makes the game feel even more up close and personal. Visceral, say visceral. Look. I want to see that MMO game. Is it this? Is this an MMO? Stop with the cuts, dude. <laughs> Man. Oh my god, is this Chevelle? What's with all these cuts, man? This video is eight hours long. We're also committed to attracting more people to video game <laughs> Halo Infinite. That's why, last fall, we added Rare to our team at Microsoft Game Studios. There it is. <clears throat> and we plan to do absolutely nothing with them. The guys at Rare are the creative minds behind some of the best-selling games of all time including GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong Country. They're masters at inventing unique game experiences that appeal to everyone. And they yeah, are delivering chat and mobile. It's cool but weird. Play oh, on the interesting. Show this week. You mean... I love this next title. It just feels right from the hmm. moment you pick up the controller. It's intuitive, it's easy to get into... It just works. ...and it will make you smile. Ooh, you can see chat logs on mobile. Okay. Oh my god, is this grabbed by the ghoulies? This is grabbed by the ghoulies! 
I remember this game. It just teased us with rare. We just bought rare. And now they're gonna make avatars and connect games. And the guys at Rare are not alone. This coming year, you will see tons of new Xbox titles from a wide variety of developers and publishers. Mm. Innovative and diverse games that appeal to all kinds of people. Take a look. It's in a book. It's reading rainbow. If you smell. <laughs> Dream skate adventure. What with Disney characters? I'm gonna move my move my head for a second here. Top spin. That game was good, dude. Top spin's good. Another uh, what's it called? Clone. Finding Nemo. THQ. Rip. Crimson skies. There we go. There we go. Conquer live and uncut. People are cheering that one. For the glory! For the honor and glory of Cacti Island! That game's alright, Jedi Knight. It's not bad. Soul Calibur. People love Soul Calibur. Pitfall Harry? Oh my god, dude. I didn't know they made a <clears throat> Pitfall Harry like that on Xbox. There was a Pitfall game on SNES, which is actually underrated. I rented it and 100%ed it. It was actually pretty good. It was on the Genesis as well. Booty Outlaw. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Hasn't played old Conquer. No, uh, remember I did stream Conquer for a hot minute. Remember that? Legacy of Kane. People like that one. What a generic game name. Brute Force. Hey, there's Sonic. <clears throat> yep, I streamed Bad Fur Day. The one on N64. Pick up your tongue. Sonic Boobas! Sonic Boobas! And then Madden. Hell yeah! What do you think's the best game? on the original Xbox. It doesn't have to be exclusive necessarily, but what would you say? I would say either KOTOR or maybe Morrowind. Probably KOTOR, but Morrowind's up there. Sonic Heroes at 1308. Is chat not showing up either? Is like nothing working? The chat should be showing up here on screen. Literally nothing's working. Sonic Boobas, of course. Simpsons Hit and Run! That game's alright. Wow, I don't remember this game. Pirates of the Caribbean? Voodoo Vince, I remember that one. Sonic Boobas is the best one. <clears throat> I mean, they're showing some good games here. Yo, I used to love the Ghost Recon games, man. Uh, I, I used to, I thought they were really cool. Hey, Crash Nitro. Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup. Oh my god! StarCraft Ghost! Yo, that's the by Blizzard! That was that cancelled game, right? The game never came out? 
Starcraft Ghost. Oh my god. <clears throat> I didn't know they showed it at E3. It's a Blizzard game that never came out. That's kind of what Blizzard does. There, I think some demos leaked of the gameplay actually a few years ago of Sonic Ghost or Sonic Ghost, StarCraft Ghost. Now I got Sonic on the brain. That's never a good thing. Never heard of Full Spectrum Warrior. THQ is putting out some like really generic stuff during this era. No wonder they went out of business. Oh, is this the Platinum Games? <clears throat> Hello, John. We are watching E3. It's the 20th anniversary of ET E3 2003. So that's what we're doing. We're watching it. We just saw StarCraft Ghosts. You know that game by Blizzard that everybody played? Hey, I'm playing a Blizzard game that shouldn't have come out. That's kind of true. I mean, it was supposed to be an MMO called Titan. It was way later. You're right. You're right. <sighs> You're right. This is the Konami joint. I don't remember this one. You're right. It's way later. Kind of looks like the same art, doesn't it? Oh, Tiger Woods. I love me some golf games. Oh, golf games are so fun. <clears throat> Underrated. Now, I don't know Lynx 2004. You want to know what my favorite golf game is? This is a hot take. This is this is sizzling hot take for all you golf gamers out there. My favorite golf game is Wiley on N64. That's right, Wiley on N64. And if you look at reviews of it, some people really liked it. Some people thought it was trash. Here's the thing, here's the reason why I love Wiley and why I, I understand why people gave it low uh, review scores. Wiley was like one of the most hardcore golf games I've ever played. And one reviewer actually looked at reviews back in the day, said it was easy, which I don't understand that because the thing about Wiley is golf games since then and even before then gave you a lot of. Uh oh. No, I don't want you to make changes to my device. Golf games, like, they got a lot easier. They've always been easier. Like, with Wiley, you had to figure out how much impact the wind is going to have on you. You had to figure out, through trial and error, how much the uh, lie is going to affect your shot. Like, golf games typically will tell you or give you an indication, like, okay, you're in the light rough, so you're going to lose about 30% of your shot power. So then you start to do the math and, like, okay, uh, I I want to hit it at 50% with this club, but since I'm at a 30% bias, I want to hit it, you know, about 80%. Wiley did not do that. So you had to figure all of that out yourself. And I don't think I'd have the patience for it now, but man, it was so cool because like, it was like real golf or like if you wanted to actually get a good score, you had to practice and you had to learn the game and so cool fearless i love it oh three tmnt show that makes sense because it's 2003 a show i've never seen metal arms glitch in the system by vivendi vivendi one of these days i'm going to stream wildlife and you're going to see you're going to learn <laughs> Really? It's great. Magic the Gathering by Atari? What? Wow. Might be the best one. What the hell is this? Electronic Arts? Oh, I know this game. James Bond. Here's Brosnan. Counter-Strike! Listen to that crowd go wild! Counter-Strike, man. That game's been around forever. You played you played the uh, Gold Knight, the 007 game? Ooh, is that the... Uh... Okay, I forget which Ninja Gaiden game that is. Yeah, that's the... 
Tecmo? This is when there was competition in uh, sports. Hey, it's Buffy again. But yeah, dude, why lie? <clears throat> it's a shame that nobody talks about why lie because it was such a bold game. It was kind of the Dark Souls of golf games. Like, I hate to make that comparison, but like, it kind of was, you know? I remember playing that for like, probably hundreds of hours my brother as well and like it took a while like if you wanted to get a, even a par or a birdie poo you had to earn it oh my god i played this game <clears throat> wow i remember this one i played 14 a little accent free two and watching the stand I don't know if I've ever heard of the stand. Is that a Stephen King joint? Also, how you like an oxen free? It is okay. I know what that is then. <laughs> Dino Crisis. Let's go. Exo Primal's out. It's on Game Pass. I should probably stream it one of these days. There you go, Saki. There's your FIFA. SpongeBob. Wow, that I didn't realize that game was that old. Cameo. Cameo was definitely a big push by uh, Microsoft for their Xbox. I watched the 90s version. Now I'm watching the 2020 remake of The Stand. Don't tell me anything about it. <clears throat> I might watch it. Probably not, realistically. But Oxford Free 2 is really good so far. Nice. It's a sequel, right? Battle for Bikini Bottom was good. That's what I heard. I didn't realize it was that old, but I know people talk highly of it. NFL Fever. I should play it. I, I don't know anything about SpongeBob, though. I've never seen an episode. There you go, guys. Fable. I'm telling you, Xbox is putting out some bangers here. Like KOTOR, <clears throat> um, the Jedi Knights, Fable. They're putting out some bangers. Cameo reviewed okay. It's all on YouTube? Wow. Wow. Well, Stand By Me, Stephen King 2. We make this on Paramount. <clears throat> oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, I, I don't think it is. Doesn't doesn't seem like a Stephen King story. I don't know why I think it is. That was that was some bangers. That was some bangers. You know, it took a couple of years because the Xbox released what November two thousand one, I think. <clears throat> so. You know, it took a couple years. Xbox had a slow build. Everybody joked at them, too. Like, nobody thought Microsoft was a real competitor. But, you know, they stuck through it. They had enough money. They had more money than God. They're able to stick through it. And they did. And you know what? All the money in the world can't make good products. So, good on them for stick sticking through it. And, like, you know, never had an Xbox. I've had all the Nintendo, Sony's. And Microsoft consoles, unless you count the Virtual Boy, but that's that's not really a console because they market it as a portable device, so I don't count that. Until the 360, everyone had 360. It's a great system, well, arguably the best system. Yup, I know, right? Look at that look. He's like, that's right, that's right, Saki. He's like, yup. <clears throat> look at him. He's just flexing on you. That's a flex right there. <clears throat> Now, if we want to connect the Xbox to the digital lifestyle for more... He just said connect. Oh, of course. Nobody would disagree with that. The only reason why I might not put it as the best system ever made is because of the red ring garbage. Like, you know, but for the price and for when it came out, 
especially indies. I love indies, and 360 spearheaded the indie movement, the indie revolution, the indie renaissance, as I call it. People, more of the time, we have to do more than deliver great games. We have to expand the definition of interactive entertainment. What if you could use your Xbox to mix your favorite music and... Okay, see, this is where they started going downhill, even back then. <clears throat> Microsoft has always had it stuck in their head that they should be the the all-in-one entertainment system. And that's not how it works. They try to do it with the Kinect. Everybody tries to do that. It's not how it works. It's a mistake. It still works. Sometimes a light in a power box turns red. It doesn't turn on. Look at the same tutorial and fix every time. Nice. Mine is probably dead. It's right over there. But I still, I know the hard drive. I actually moved the files to USB, so I have my save files from the 360. Worst case scenario. Digital photos. Bring the experience into the It's a the great system. One of the best controllers. Share it with your friends. One of the best indie systems. Is she holding the Duke? copyright music yo you know what's funny <clears throat> when i uploaded my 2002 e3 video to youtube guess what the one thing that blocked me with copyright take a guess of all that music that we heard what do you think the one thing that was trying to block me from viewing i had to trim it out best controller uh as far as i'm concerned well i mean <clears throat> they've constantly gotten a little slightly better you know the xbox one the Series S, I think, are better controllers. But for the time and place, like, psh. We were talking about Halo today. <clears throat> I got into a pretty deep philosophical discussion with two of my uh, football club friends today. Hey, hey, over an hour. <clears throat> Somehow we got to Halo. Halo's a classic. You don't remember any songs? Well, it was... You want to know what it was? It was the Hulk. It was the Hulk! 1970s the hulk are you kidding me this dystopia i can't handle this dystopia yeah it was the hulk five minutes of the hulk um, we're, we're ditching the hulk now it's official unless i have no plans to put it on youtube I don't remember the music mixer <clears throat> at all. <laughs> I'm going to hold on this for a possible thumbnail. Return to Monkey. 90s Donkey Kong Country TV show that it is. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. I know Saki wants me to watch uh, Sonic. And that's a possibility. We talked about dang near everything today. Religion, the whole, damn. Talked about politics? Uh oh. Hmm. Damn, man. <clears throat> That's deep. We started by doing dungeons. I mean, what else are you going to do? You're doing the grind. You might as well talk about it. Whatever. So Xbox you know. Music Mixer is an exciting new title. Do you guys remember this thing? I don't remember this at all. That unlocks more of the entertainment potential of Xbox by connecting the console it's got a photo viewer. to the digital entertainment lifestyle. Just right? like all the ambitious this. content that you've been showing up here, Ed, we've got some ambitious plans for Xbox Live. Let's have a look. You don't remember it either. <clears throat> Did you play Sonic Underground? You have to officially both fallen off and become a Sonic fan. How dare you? How dare you? You son of a bitch.
see, this is what I'm talking about. This is Microsoft's always been Microsoft's biggest problem. It's like trying to talk about stuff that that's not gaming, <clears throat> you know, or gaming adjacent, like the Kinect and all this other stuff. Halo 2. There's some bangers here, though. I mean, they are showing a lot of bangers. There's no doubt about that. I'm going to skip a little bit. Maybe done. Nope. What? Now we're doing Game Boy Advance. And that's why they love sports on Xbox Live, where trash talking is just part of the game. But the, we know the sinking's that off a little bit. <clears throat> goes well beyone one play, Has a ton of bangers. I haven't listened to it yet. Because basically, as it's soon as I got home from work, I hurried season, up to set up. The playoffs, and ultimately about the championships. And that's why I'm excited to introduce the first innovation that really leverages these new Xbox Live features and pushes the sports game category beyond anything you've ever seen before. Introducing XSN Sports. XSN Sports. Beyond the game. <laughs> Competition. <laughs> Victory. Respect. This. The music is so good. Yes, became a Sonic fan. What's new? <clears throat> it's way too good. Sonic cookies. You remember this thing? Is XSN Sports. The game has changed forever. Compete like never before. Dominate anyone, anywhere, at any time. Dominate anyone, anywhere, at any time. Xbox XSN. You're gonna be a real gamer, aren't you, you motherfucker? You think you're a real gamer, you son of a bitch? You're not until you get XSN, where you can dominate anyone, anywhere, anytime, motherfucker. Slam, outmaneuver, and crush the competition. Create a league. Enter intense tournament action. This is kind of cool, though. Your way into the XSN Sports Hall of Fame. The third quote. Every third Real quote is Sonic. <laughs> How dare you? Are updated. Rivalries are born. They're leading into the beginning of Heavy is the Head. <laughs> see how you stack up to the competition. Facing a tough opponent? Nice. Scout which plays he's run. Find his weaknesses and exploit them. It kind of almost sounds like when it goes dan -an -an, it sounds like that ESPN musical stinger. It's like dan -an -an, dan -an -an. You won't last five minutes playing this. XSN Sports is a you whole new stupid level of son of a bitch. You're not a gamer. Play the games on your Xbox. Hook up with opponents through Xbox. You don't Live. have XSN? Check results, stats, and rankings What's on the, the web using your PC. Oh, which even get standings and challenges on your mobile phone. Your mobile devices. At the heart of it all are the games. Go! All built for online play and real competition. Human competition. Human. That's a good game, Top Spin. Inside Drive, remember that one. Oh, there goes the music. Alright, okay, alright, we get it. I'm gonna skip a little bit. And then goes the Game Boy. This video is so long, I have to be careful about skipping because it's an eight hour video. <clears throat> and even just a little tiny skip on the timeline can put us so far. We're gonna test something. All right, let's see if it works. <laughs> 
That means be right back won't work either. Nope. It sure won't. Yeah, I saw the clip. I saw the clip. Oh, I lost my place. Compete like never before. The sound's gone in this part. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. You can't see it or hear it? I can. I just click on it and I heard it. What is thy bidding, my master? This video is kind of weird. Do or do not. There is no try. Battlefront. And the same talented people. Oh, on stream. Yeah, Rebel Strike. Are also at work on another. Yeah, when did Battlefront come out? It was Xbox One, right? I think it was late Xbox One. Capcom is giving us several exclusive titles. None more important than Resident Evil franchise. Mm -hmm. A new version is coming, an important step to expand our appeal. There it is. Resident Evil 4. <laughs> the voice. The PS2 Battlefront. Did it not come out on original Xbox? Or is it something different? Oh, what's this? Hi, I'm Shinji, Shinji Mikami. Mikami. God, he's so Recent young. Rumors would suggest I have been fired. But I assure you, I am still happily working at Capcom. His mic audio. Most unfortunately, I am unable to attend E3 this His year. This translator's mic is so bad. I'm so busy working hard on Resident Evil 4. First downfall? Development of Resident Evil 4. Battlefront 2 was late for Xbox GameCube One. Oh. Very smoothly. Okay. So you should all look, be looking forward to it. That makes sense. Beautiful Joe. Beautiful Joe. That's a good yeah. game. Several. Think it did? Uh, coming out on smoothly. The Resident Evil 4 never came out. They are <laughs> so really? Original. They will blow your mind. And well, that's interesting. One more thing. Resident Evil 4 will be scary than ever before. Don't pee your pants. Yes, yes. Don't pee your pants. Yes. Our development agreements are reaching around the world. Uh, Resident Evil 4, let me think. So, <clears throat> that was, uh, couldn't they, like, didn't it have to get shifted over to Dream? What, what happened with that? No, I, I don't remember that. I, I don't know that. This E3, <clears throat> we really? We see a brand new title named Geist. From a new partner I know Geist. In space. So there are four different games, and only two happen. Oh, I did not know that. Resident Evil's a big blind spot for me. Huge blind spot. In space Geist. Began by doing work for America's space agency, but its newest America's work space is agency. a GameCube exclusive collaboration with Nintendo. In this frightening game. The speed of your character invisibly moves to inhabit others. A true out-of-body experience. It's not very helpful, Nightbot. For many years, Nintendo... So this must have been, like, right after Square bought Enix. That's not what I meant. It's widely considered. It is widely considered, that's true. Yeah, because I think Square bought Square Enix in, like, 2002 or three, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was right around this time period. And Square enjoyed a very good relationship. This year, that relationship is renewed. Not really. The result is the beautiful GameCube exclusive Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Yeah, well, we, we we were back. We got Final Fantasy back, everybody. <clears throat> we're sorry about the Nintendo 64. So there's an original version of RE4 that was shown here. Oop. Ah! It was a completely different game set in a mansion. Whoa, that's so weird. That's so weird. Yeah, look at that. Huh, never got made, but over the last few years, people have found this code. Oh, that's so cool. 
I love that. As you and friend set out to renew your life, then no one knows what it was supposed to be. Some problems occur. I hope it gets leaked, cause you know, like, we, <sighs> video game preservation is such a horrible, like, we've done such a horrible job with it, and like, every now and then we get surprised with stuff, like, like StarCraft Ghost, I believe it, I believe the source code got released, so people got to play a little bit of that. Four different players can use their Game Boy Advance to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. No Game Boy Advance cartridge is needed. Okay. I have asked one of our developers to come out and show you a couple of things. You might know him. He is now in his 26th year at Nintendo. Please welcome Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto. 26 years in 2003. That's... think about that. Oops. The third was action focused with different characters are basically superhuman. Wow. Wasn't Resident Evil Zero kind of like that where you could switch characters? Remember those big mega leaks for the SNES? Yeah, uh huh. The big Nintendo leaks. Yep. That's so cool. Uh, okay. Continue. Skip ahead a little. <laughs> Despite his newfound fame, I'm happy to say. Use their Game Boy Advance to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. No. One of our developers to come up. You might at me. Trying to do little tiny skips. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the. Oh, shit. Yo, that's some that's intro it. music. I want to hear that intro music again. Let's hear it. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Nintendo's Media Briefing. Last year, I surprised you all with visuals of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. He's speaking a lot of English. And I hope to do the same this year. Here's the with ranking. what I am about to show you. Got scrap. And someone decided to go back to it. This morning, to the work. I'm quite lucky. I mean, small game called. It's a small year, game. <clears throat> I'd like to ask my uh, good a friend small game. from Inoue, and one of the best translators I know, Bill Trinan. Bill Trinan. Yeah, I did. I actually know that about Devil May Cry. Now that you mention that, the fourth is what we got for RE4. Man, that's so weird. I hope it gets leaked. Rockstar is remastering Red Dead One. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. <clears throat> it's literally just an RE game. Is it though? Isn't Devil May Cry like an action game? Really? It's like a survival horror? To interpret for me. I must be thinking of something else. Bill Trinan. <laughs> I've invited several friends with whom I'm currently cooperating on development to join us to here today. Allow me to introduce the first of these, a longtime friend of mine from Electronic Arts, Mr. Will Wright. Here he is. And in the future, he's going to get into NFTs. Yay! Because from what I remember, that that was wasn't that PlayStation One? There was a Devil May Cry on PlayStation One. That was I remember it being like really actiony. Yo, I'm motherfucking Will Wright, creator of The Sims, bitch. Uh, Will -san, such a in, in 2000, Will join us to hat here today. He introduced The Sims. Sims. It's a very uh, historical. It was PS2. Okay, wasn't there a Devil May Cry on PS1? Or is this the Mandela effect? Hold on, I need to look this up now. This might be a Mandela effect. It's a Mandela effect. It's a Mandela effect. <clears throat> Damn it! 
I did play it too at a friend's house. Let me tell you, man, The Sims did a lot to change the gaming landscape because really, before The Sims, a lot of publishers and, and big money suits didn't think games could be successful where you didn't like, where there wasn't action. And actually, speaking of Will Wright, SimCity had a lot of problems getting funding because the, the history, I don't know if you know the SimCity history, <clears throat> Will Wright made Raid on Bungling Bay, which I played on the NES. And as he was making it, he was like realizing there's something here, the idea of like making this game, making these levels. And what if I just made a game where you're making the levels and nobody wanted to touch it. Nobody thought it was like, where's the action? So Will Wright has really spearheaded this idea that games can be something different. Uh, and it all came from Raid on Bungling Bay, a mediocre NES game. It's kind of interesting, though, because, like, it could be two players. And basically, it's like a you, you fly a ship over the skies and, like, things shoot at you from the ground and the other player can control the stuff from the ground. It's, it's kind of interesting. Selling something like 75, you can tell the excitement about the fact uh, he sells NFTs which died out. To 25 million users. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> Despite his newfound fame, I'm happy to say that Will is still willing to work with a guy like me. Nintendo version of The Sims. <laughs> this is our first project together in about 10 years. <clears throat> Gamecube, Start in Central, new location is not far from then go back and move to an underground the area. And the Game Boy Advance. Oh, look at that. The Sims on GameCube. Yeah, I guess I can see the similarities. I just remember Devil May Cry. The only thing I remember about it was just like, just constant action. Yeah, I guess so. It did not feel like I did not get any Resident Evil vibes playing it when I played it. Granted, it was only for like an hour or two, uh, but uh, I hope you've come here to tell us a little bit more about that today, Will. Yes, thank you, and I'll always answer your phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Last year we released The Sims on the GameCube, and we were very pleased with the results of it. Now we're ready to take the next step with it. When we saw the innovative plans that Nintendo had for the GameCube to Game Boy Advance connectivity. We thought about it, and we thought this could work really, really well. Really? Spare on action? That's not so how I felt about it, but I never played a stylus action game before that. First, we're doing a new, more expansive version on the game. It's just a measly port. See tomorrow on the show floor. And secondly, we're doing a completely mm -hmm. redesigned version. Yeah, compared to the later games, okay. The game Boy Advance. This is going to be the first time that we've taken any one of our sim games to a handheld gaming platform. Thank you very much. Thank I you. hate these cuts. Thank you, Will. Go on it. I know. And Nintendo, you know, we're really happy to be working not only with you, Will, but with all the talented teams at EA. Thank you very much. Now, uh, before Will leaves, we'd actually like uh, EA President John Riccatello to introduce to us on video some of the GameCube and connectivity titles yeah, we can see in the future. Yeah, 2003 editing. Let's take a look. It's GameSpot doing it. This year you're going to see EA's best titles on the Nintendo GameCube. You'll see Madden, but that's obvious. But you're also going to see Medal of Honor, Lord of the Rings, Bond. Nintendo GameCube is not for kids or just kids. Teens and young adults are going to love it. The best content on a great platform. Oh, there's the cringe I love to see. There's the cringe I love to see. Pretty slow game. It's right on part Resident Evil 1. Man, that's not what I remember at all. I mean, not... A <clears throat> went to... Yeah, well, the, that whole series is confusing. And then they, like, had a another DMC, like, just called Devil May Cry. It's very confusing. But, yeah, I just remember it being, like, heavy on action. But that was a whole new genre to me at the time. Yay, go! I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. He's like, come on, man. This is. <laughs> why does everybody think Nintendo is just for kids? Oh, because Nintendo says that. That's why. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Ow! Thank you very much, Will. 
I know, it's so confusing. It has nothing to do with it, yet it's literally called DMC Devil May Cry. <laughs> like, I'm gonna make a game called Super Mario Brothers. It's got nothing to do with Super Mario. By adding elements that can only be achieved on Nintendo GameCube. It's a brand new connectivity title. Let me show it to you. God, Bill looks so young. <clears throat> so young. All right, we already seen this. As you can see, as they move around, along, looks like Red Link has gone inside the house. Stupid Red Link. I really got this urge to turn into a Pac-Man game, and I couldn't help myself. So uh, I'd really like it if we could play this together today. What is this? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> but uh, since this is a four-player game, um, is this Link again? Right back out and have uh, have George Harrison come join us. George Harrison. Yeah, we saw this. Try not to skip too much. It's very hard to do like little skips. Dude loves Pac Man, it's even on his shirt. You know someone loves it if it's on the shirt. <clears throat> I don't like Pac Man. That's right, I said it. It does nothing for me. It does nothing for me. There's no sound here. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Three, one, four, two, five is a spin off that has zero to do with the regular series. Well, if it's a spin off, I mean, it obviously has to have something, right? I think legally you can't get away with calling it that. But, oh, 1080. Avalanche. Wish there was sound here. I remember that Matrix game, though. It was average at best. I played DMC1, there's F-Zero GX, and I played DMC5. I own DMC5, actually. Never beat it. It's okay. It's a good game. I'm sure wish there was sound here. <clears throat> Why is three? Well, I mean, it's like... Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like Star Wars or not Star Wars like uh mm, how would you describe it? I know, me too. Well, it's like Zelda. There we go. Like Skyward Sword came out so far late. So why is that like so early in the timeline? It's a totally separate thing from the regular series. <laughs> how did they not get sued? It was a different era. We entered this E3 with a momentum and we will build on it in the false advertising ahead. as always nintendo will prosper nintendo as we move into the true is releasing market. a game called super mario brothers nintendo has in it never been you play focused, as a carrot never more determined never more a carrot who goes around and we will not making retreat. more carrots make no mistake uh oh we are staying right in the middle of the home console battle I'm not messing around. The successor to Nintendo Nintendo's here to stay. What the fuck? Is already in development. <clears throat> and this time, we will not give our competitors a head start reaching oh. the market. Oh, damn. He's getting real here, dude. We are dude. going to do it our way, and we are going to succeed. Thank you all. He's like, this time, motherfuckers. We're going to cut some throats. Zelda will be Zelda. So true. Nintendo does not take seriously the Zelda timeline. You play as Sonic in Super Mario Brothers. We are proud to announce this partnership with Sega. We call it Super Mario Brothers, but that's in name only. Yeah, it's from Team Ninja, isn't it? I believe I, I believe Team Ninja did Ninja. Didn't, no, that's Ninja Gaiden. I'm thinking of. Never mind. They want to do a game that's tied to old games. They wanted something totally new, and while it sold well, the fans didn't want any of it. Well, I, I make sense. 
Because to me, like, that's, that's the kind of thing where it's like, if you're gonna use the name of a popular thing, like, you already sold copies based on the name. So you do have a bit of an oblig... I'm all for innovation and change and spinoffs. But you do have an obligation at some point, if you're going to sell all these copies based on a name only, to give something with the name. You know, say what you will about Star Wars, but at least like Rogue One, you know, it's, it's a spinoff. Although not really, but you know what I mean. It's not a main line, but they, they give you Star Wars stuff, even though they don't give you Jedi stuff necessarily. It's still, they give you Star Wars <clears throat> they did that game too. Okay, so it is Team Ninja. We are going to succeed. It didn't succeed. Nose grab, nose grab, melancholy. Nose grab, nose grab, melancholy. Black hole coming again. Wait a minute. What is this game? This is Advanced Wars. Let's go, dude. It's topical. <clears throat> Heck yeah, tactics games. Dude, dude, do you like the first LMA cry? Which one? <laughs> right. I hate when I hate when people do that. Oh, it froze. Great game. Great game. It's not an S tier uh, tactics game, but it's a good one. It's a good one. You know, it's no Into the Breach, one of the best games ever made, but what are you gonna do about that? If you have Netflix, you can play Into the Breach. Be quiet back there. Amonra, what are you doing here? Oh, this is good. We've come for Caster. This is too. When I find him, I'm gonna pull off his head. No, he is not our enemy. I think he's being tricked. We must find him. What was that? Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. <clears throat> Advanced Wars is good. Listen to the sound! And the dialogue! Devil May Cry, they basically made fun of the stuff in the original game. Oh, that's good for fans. No way in hell I'd ever have hair like that. It sounds AI generated. The sound. It sounds so amazing, Saki. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why is it in slow-mo? This is amazing. <laughs> Game of the year, game of the show. Game of the 20th century. What is happening? What are we doing? That's true. Pushes up glasses. Well, technically, <clears throat> hey, look, time is a social construct. We could we could make whatever we want. DMC four and five are my favorites. I own five. It's good. I didn't beat it. Oh, he just tossed that one aside. Look at that. And that's it. That was the best trailer I've ever seen. 
I challenge you <clears throat> to make a better tra trailer than that. You simply could not do it. Let's go back. I want to hear that voice acting again. I need to hear that voice acting. Make no mistake. We are still for battle. Already in development. What? DMC5 uh, gets time, emotional? We'll that game is nothing but nonsense. We are going to what I played. Fun nonsense, good nonsense, but nonsense. Nonetheless. Come on, come on. Does anybody know what game this is, by the way? The one that we're talking about? Because... Here it is. We need to figure out what game this is. I may need to stream it. Stuff at the end with Nero is just super heartfelt. Really? I don't see how they could pull that off tonally. Cause the, I'd be I played at least half of it, and it was just so ridiculous. And now they're gonna try to pull a quick turn into into heartfelt. That's okay. It's possible. The shy guys' revenge trailer would be better. Sorry, Saki, but. No. <clears throat> it's great once you get into it. Uh, you know how picky I am with story. Okay, guys, Be ready? quiet back there. Shh. Shh. Amonra, what are you doing here? We've come for Castor. Us too. When I find him, I'm gonna pull off his head. No, he is not our enemy. I think he's being tricked. I need to hear that again. When I find him, I'm gonna pull off his head. No, he is not our enemy. I think he's being tricked. We must find him. What was that? It's so good. <clears throat> it's so good. And not once did they even say what the name of this game is. I need to know. I have to know what game this is. The problem is, how can I possibly research it? The story of the Sons of Sparta is so well done. Once it reached the end, you'll see how it all plays out. <clears throat> yeah. I I tried five. I tried one. I, don't, I just don't think that series is for me, really. But, uh... What's the new game for me? Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is Shadow of the Colossus. I know. We all know. It's funny, though. Let's see. What other information can we put into the... So it's E3 2003. I think this is still Nintendo's uh, press conference. So we might be able to look up like what games were shown. I think this is Nintendo. What was right before this? It was Advance Wars. <clears throat> um, and then before that, what do we have? We had uh, Four Swords, Link, Link Four Swords. I don't even know what kind of game it is. My guess is it's like an Age of Empires like. That's what it reminds me of. Age of Empires, but bad. Oh, it's Wind Waker. That makes sense. Man, even uh even chatbot doesn't know. Alright, well I think we're never gonna find out. Sadly. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. It's that part in Wind Waker where the monster tears apart the city. So now they're showing a PlayStation 2 game. So I think this video is like edited in such a weird ass way. This could be played now we're in Sony's conference. I don't know. 
It's hard for me to find unedited, uncut, pure footage of E3, which is what I want. But I gotta take what I can get. Again, hearkening back to video game preservation and how bad it is. <clears throat> oh, let's go. Frosty's on it. It might be Sony's show. I don't think it's Xbox's. I think we're done with Xboxes. Yeah, I think we're in PlayStation Town now. Oh my god, Altered Beast? Wait, Altered Beast? I know they made one for like, what, the 360 or the Xbox One? Ginger, be careful, buddy. I wonder if this is the same game, it just got delayed. It is the same game. I know this game. It's uh, not great, but you know. Serviceable? Wow, 2005. Did they open it up to the public or something that year? Because they've kind of gone back and forth in terms of, like, e 3s only for professionals or, you know. Or sometimes it's also for basic bitches like me. Yeah, Altered Beast. What did this release on? Because I could have sworn this was, like, more like 360. I'm going to go Altered Beast. Yeah, PS2, 2005. There you go. Huh. Yeah. Exclusive to PS2. Made by Sega. <clears throat> and we're back to snowboarding again. God, the editing in this video sucks. You don't think it was actually part of the presentation? Really? I wonder what it could be then. Could it possibly be a joke? Like a, like a satire on... Apocalyptica! Oh my god! Isn't that the name? Hold on a second. Hold on one... Cotton pin second. Uh, Apocalyptica. That is the name of a band. <clears throat> Yo. Check this out. I remember back in the day, I had a couple of their albums. So Apocalyptica was a band that was like four cellos, if I'm not mistaken. And they would do cover songs. Like I had the two albums I had, they had, they did a covers of Metallica songs with four cellos, which was super cool. They did Master of Puppets. And they did cover songs of Radiohead's uh, albums from uh, songs from Radiohead, OK Computer. One of the best 90s albums ever. It's one of the best albums ever made. Okay, Computer by Radiohead. So cool. <clears throat> yes, I did it. Obscure musical reference. It took me a little while. It took me an hour. But we got there, folks. Apocalyptica. I actually want to bust that album out again and see. That was pretty cool stuff, man. The way it was shown and the fact I can't find it in games makes me think it wasn't there. <clears throat> you could be right. You could be right. Thanks for looking. Streaming Nickelodeon kart racers. He really likes kart racers. Apparently there's already three games of it. Man, Apocalyptica. You guys should check that out. <clears throat> check out on YouTube. Apocalyptica doing some uh, Metallica or some Radiohead. Really good stuff. It's amazing the amount of sound they produce with just four cellos. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Dancing blade, Two cellos is an amazing duo. Yeah, well, what about four? Yeah. 
God, I haven't heard that name in so long. They're Finnish. There's a Finnish symphonic metal band. Oh. <clears throat> they do other genres. But yeah, cello is their main thing. I'm pretty sure they did Radiohead. Let me, let me, let me, uh, Radiohead. Somebody did it. Yeah, they did. They did, uh, Hold on, now I need to know. Apocalyptica covers. They mostly do metal. Did they do the Radiohead? Somebody did the four cellos Radiohead. Oh, that's actually their name, two cellos? Maybe I'll check it out. I mean, Apocalyptica, I highly recommend. Check out their covers of Metallica songs. Join the enemy. Whirlwind Helmet Crusher. I need to go back and listen to them actually. Who did Radiohead cellos? Retreat while you can. My strength is supreme. <laughs> this will be over soon. Take that. Die. Who the hell did the You'll regret that? <laughs> Man, I need to find that. How many more hours? We have uh, six hours and 40 minutes just in this video alone. We visit their names. They do covers too. Nice. So it's literally just two cellos? Well, then, uh, yeah, check out Apocalyptica. They got four cellos. I'm going to listen to them tonight. You found a great clip from 2003? Do I have Nintendo 2003? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You know what? Okay, let's take a mental note. One hour and eight minutes. I'm going to take a note here and remind myself. One hour, eight minutes. Let's just make sure we didn't miss anything because I have separately Xbox 2003 and Nintendo. So let's start with Nintendo. From Hollywood, California, welcome to the 2003 E3 kickoff hosted by the world-renowned <clears throat> king of video games, Nintendo. Oh, I know. I already know what clip that is. <clears throat> yeah, that's a classic E3 moment. That's a classic E3 moment. I forget exactly the quote, but it was like, yeah, we're, we don't kill hookers at Nintendo or something and like here, that. Yeah. Going is Nintendo of America's George Harrison. George Harrison, not to be confused with George Harrison. Uh, well, thank you, everybody, and welcome to Nintendo's E3 Media Briefing. We have a great show for you at E3 this year, and we're glad you could spend a little bit of time with us this morning learning about our products. Our goals today are to first uh, update you on the state of our business and some of our corporate direction and initiatives. Woo, corporate initiatives! Ow! In yeah! Finally, we're going to show you the product, which, of course, I know is what you're all here for. And then at the end, we're going to answer a few of your questions, because I know they're many. Now, the news for Nintendo in this 2003... Let me know if you want me to skip around impressive. a little bit. This chart shows the unit shares for next generation hardware from January to March. Show me charts. As you can see, show me Nintendo charts. 10 share points. Two from Xbox and eight from Sony. No. Well, <clears throat> did they do one in? Uh, I think it was right. I don't think they technically had an E3 since then. It was kind of yeah. With our GameCube soft bundled, which offered the consumer the choice of one of four titles when they purchased the GameCube, and it was fueled by the launch of The Legend of Zelda in March. Now, on a worldwide basis. Nintendo's install base now 
Right. Succeeds Xbox by about 1.3 million units. Suck it, Xbox. So we're in clear number two position. We're number two. We're number two. We're number two. Okay. Go back and look at the U.S. market again, and just look at March system sales, including Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and GameCube and all the hardware systems. In March, almost 60% of all the hardware sold were Nintendo systems. Now that's consumers speaking with their cash. The story on software is just as powerful. If you look at this chart, it shows you the tie, tie ratios for the home consoles, and you can see that at just under 10, Nintendo was in a very strong position with GameCube. And of course, if we look at the top selling games for the first quarter, it comes as no surprise, Nintendo garnered three of the top four spots in the bestseller list with The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Dude, I can't find. Now, I'm looking into who did the cello covers of Radiohead. I can't find it. <clears throat> Even Google's like, what? I thought it was Apocalyptica. But maybe not. I need to find that. Who the hell did the cello covers of Radiohead? Thank you, Pokemon Frosty. And Pokemon Sapphire. Pokemon. Yeah. Now, Did you just hear that? Okay, guys, listen to this. <clears throat> listen to the guy in the crowd. I'm gonna turn this up. Top four spots in the bestseller list with The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker, and Pokemon Movie, and Pokemon Sapphire. <laughs> that is the best shit ever. Did you hear that guy when he said Pokemon? He's like, yeah. Let's hear it again. So let's take the top four spots in the bestseller list with The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker and Pokemon Movie and Pokemon Sapphire. It's so good. Ruby and Sapphire were the... Was that you in the crowd, Frosty? <clears throat> yeah. Reverse image search. Oh, you the man. If we could find this game, I'm starting to think it's like not real. So let's take a look at those. Uh, He's a Chad for Pokemon. Yeah, he just like he just like got off for Pokemon. He's like, yeah. Zelda the Wind Waker has already sold over a million copies in just eight weeks. It is. It is every time. Pokemon <clears throat> Ruby and Sapphire combined have sold through to over 1.7 million consumers. Yeah. And Game Boy SP. <laughs> Game Boy SP has sold through to over 950,000 consumers. It's an unbelievable hat trick for us in March and an unbelievable success. So the net of all the success is this. When you look at all corporate dollars in March, Nintendo's share was 39%. All right, we don't care. But our characters will remain true. So this year, many of those characters are going to be back and they're going to be better than ever. But perhaps the best example of this show is Mario Kart. Hey. Now, Fans in the audience. But this time, each player can control two characters. One character Double dash. and one to torment their enemies. Was this the <clears throat> Double dash. <laughs> Pikmin 2. Dude, Pikmin 4 comes out soon. I think I'm gonna get it. I'm I'm so ready for some Pikmin in my life. I need it. I know, right? <clears throat> nah, you know how Pokemon fans be. You know. You got it? <clears throat> oh shit, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna write it down. Let's go. Age of Mythology. Oh my god, I've heard of that name before. And it totally is an Age of Empires ripoff. I was 100% right. Age of Mythologies, <clears throat> the Titans. Yo. 
You found it right when you said that. Thank you so much. Oh my god. It's it's an Age of Empires ripoff. It's funny because Age of Empires has pretty bad voice acting, but it's charming. Go back to Double Dash, there's some changes. Okay. Double Dash. You say there's changes? We are, I need to look this game up. Age of Mythology, the Titans. I need to see reviews. Pokemon Pinball. Age of Mythology, the Titans. Apparently this is like a whole series, right? <clears throat> is it actually made by the same people who did Age of Empires, I wonder? No, that can't be right. Very little info on YouTube. Dude, IGN gave it an 8.9. Old Games Download gives it a 4.6. It's an expansion pack to Age of Mythology. <clears throat> it's developed by Ensemble Studios. Yeah, they made Age of Empires. I was right. In Halo Wars. They used the Game Genie engine. Owned by Galoob, I bet. Makers of Micro Machines. Wow. It's a good game, you guys. Yeah, an 8.9. Oh, the renders are different, Saki? <clears throat> How do you know that? Age of Mythology. Yeah, it gave me Age of Mythology. It gave me Age of Mythology retold. It's like a whole thing. Halo Wars is great. It it's surprisingly good. I'll give you that. It's not S tier, but uh, it's surprisingly good. So many Pokemon. <clears throat> Pokemon Coliseum. It was followed in 2016 by a second. Wow. 20, as recent as 2016. It blows my mind. It was made by the same people who made Age of Empires. Because, dude, Age of Empires is good stuff. And apparently it's a good game. When did it come out? Because this was 2003. Maybe that was just a really early build. No, it came out in like 2003. Yep. Sold over 100,000 copies. The franchise, 1.3 million by 06. 84 on Metacritic. Huh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, October 1st. God, I forgot about that. GBA, putting out good stuff. Billy Hatcher and a giant egg? The hell? This generic music is not doing it for me. Wario World, we were just talking about that. You remember Billy Billy Hatcher? I don't remember that at all. I remember Dizzy, the egg. <clears throat> I remember Wario World. I don't know. Everything about the audio in this is bad. Like the music is bad, the mix is bad. Star Fox uh Wait, what game is this? 
Star Fox on the what? Is, I don't think I know what game this is. He did a barrel roll. The fuck was with the audio? <clears throat> He's a Sega character. That that tracks. Actually, that tracks. The FOG version of Resident Evil Four. Thank you. So, what was that Star Fox game? I'm trying to remember. Like. I only really played SNES and N64 ones. I mean, a little bit of Star Fox Adventures, but... It's Star Fox 2, of course. <clears throat> That's just a start. We've got a lot of great stuff to show you today. I want to first take a minute, though, and talk about uh, Game Boy. Now, as we uh, showed you, Game Boy Advance SP has made Game Boy more popular than ever. Collection, and of course, stories and in Europe during the month of June. It's already launched and a great success. In There's something charming about these old E3s where, like, it's like a lot of it is just like guys in suits telling you about how big their freaking financial dick is. Like, you know, they're just ta talking about sales and market, you know, caps and market dominance and market shares. And it's so dry and boring. But in a weird way, it's oddly a little bit wholesome, a little bit, in the sense that, like, they're just putting it right out there. It's like, they're not trying to, like, hide what E3 is, which is a big commercial. It is a big flex, you know, to show how great you are. Japan. We think that this is a great way for consumers to play their Game Boy games on their TV. And of course, there are more than a thousand Game Boy games already released. The e-reader, which Ooh, we launched first last Mario fall, is also another great aspect of our... Was it Superstar was the first one? Investor meeting. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. It was investor uh, to, to the press and to the investors, for sure. 100%. Um... It was basically, yeah, tell the press, tell the investors how great you are. Um, and and again, that's still what it is, at least if it were here today, in many ways. You know, you're telling your, your shareholders, don't sell your shares, buy more shares. Um, you're telling the press, look how good we are, tell everybody how good we are. 340? Connectivity story. This accessory for Game Boy Advance. Well, I am allows consumers to use I'm eight minutes deep right now. Use data from so, special trading cards to play for Nintendo about the connectivity is a very powerful one. Losing a few of our words and slides here. Actually, we're making with our partners, the third party developers. Always one technical problems. To improve our relationship with our developers and improve the number of games that we can bring to our systems. Wasn't until 07 to 10 <clears throat> where it went more of just showing what was coming. Yeah. They definitely figured out that's the way to go, but it's always still people standing on stage talking about how big their dick is. I mean, that's always what it is. And I like it. Eight minutes deep into the that's e That's our president, Mr. Satoru Iwata. Uh, I don't think... Uh, 340. Are we looking at the same exact video though? Because uh, at 340. Yeah. Let's take a look at those uh, key lines from Sony. Yeah, it's, never lose hope. yeah, 340 is this guy talking, so I don't think we're looking at the exact same video. We'll find it. We'll see it. In inventing and reinventing the world. There's 330. <clears throat> this is it. <laughs> Unpause it. Best video game franchise characters. Now we do insist that each installment of a franchise be better than the last. Sony E3 but our characters was the best E3 show. Is uh yeah that was the one with um God of War Ragnarok right? 
I'm not going to say it was the best press conference, but I will say God of War Ragnarok was the best sh uh, game <clears throat> shown ever at an E3. And not just because the game is badass, but just the whole orchestra. I don't know. Yeah, God of War 2018 came out in 2018, but wasn't that shown in 2017? No. True. Donkey Kong will remain a lovable ape. Frosty, I don't think they're showing the game that you think they're going to show. I think it's just him talking. Now, we do insist that each installment of a franchise be better than the last. But our characters will remain... No, strong. not Ragnarok. Donkey Kong will remain a lovable ape. Link will never lose hope. And, of course, Mario will never start shooting hookers. Oh, there it is! Thank you! I thought you were talking about Mario and Luigi. I was like, there's not going to show Mario and Luigi. There it is. Thank you. We needed that. We needed that desperately. Awkward laugh? <laughs> we must have just missed that. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah, I think... <clears throat> so for me, 2018, the intro to Sony's uh, God of War uh, game was, was my favorite, but... Start shooting hookers. Link will never lose hope. And of course, Mario will never start shooting hookers. <laughs> Even he knows... You know, you know what's crazy about that? That's not an off-the-cuff statement by some low em low employee, you know, like just some random developer making an off-the-record, off-key statement. That is a super high executive with a meticulously planned out script for this show that, like, even though it was small back then, it was still a big deal. A lot of work was put into this. This was planned and and edited. I want to see the original script. What was the original joke? Last of Us 2, Resident Evil 2, I believe. Damn, some bangers on there, huh? Mario will never start shooting hookers. Oh, that's so good. Thank you. Nintendo about the connectivity is a very powerful. I one. needed that. Rest in peace, Iwata. Thank you, Zos, and welcome. Next week, it will be one year since I became president of Nintendo. And in that time, a lot of people. Okay, God of War was shown there. That's what I thought. Unless maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't the God of War. Well, no, because I thought, I thought God of War was only at one E3. I don't think they did like a title card thing. <clears throat> Spider-Man Day is gone. Detroit to become human. Shout, damn. That is a good show. You're right, John. Have given me their opinions on how Nintendo should change or not change. I believe we remain the company that best understand the video game industry, but also understand that in any business, new circumstances require new answers. And at the start of this year, Nintendo did face some challenges. It's not a bad show either for Microsoft. The most Damn. obvious concern is Nintendo GameCube. That's pretty it good. It not sold through the way we planned, and its reputation among some players was unfavorable. PUBG. PUBG on consoles was trashed in the beginning. Grant them, granted, you know, that's not bad for for Xbox. It's still rough. They're still reeling from uh, the Connect bullshit. Oh my God! E three twenty seventeen. God damn. Next was the primary software 
that supports GameCube. In the first half last in the first half of last year, Metroid Prime 4. It was just the title card, if I remember correctly. This was the best E3. We didn't release enough exclusive titles. Told you. Wait, what did you tell me? No, you were saying it's so good. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't know if it's my favorite necessarily, but like I said, the God of War 2018 one. Uh... Then in the second half, high quality games like Mario Sunshine. God, that was and so Metroid cool, Prime man! When they opened that up. Did not fully meet our expectations. Oh, Sunshine did not fully meet our expectations. Well, maybe you should not name a Mario game where you're. Whatever. 2018 Death Stranding Cyberpunk. 2004 Half Life 2. Well, we don't want to spoil it. <clears throat> Witcher 3. That was a good reveal. Third, we had not yet demonstrated why connectivity between GameCube and Game. All right, I'm gonna skip a little bit. Edgier. Oh, this this might be a thumbnail. This is a contender for a thumbnail. Oh my goodness. This is good. This is good. No, I don't want to cover up edgier. Let me see if I can get my beer right back work. We're making Shenmue 3. Shenmue 3? Really? You put that as, as something that... Okay. Uh, that was kind of embarrassing to me. Not just because the game, but like... The way it was presented... Like, Sony came out here and tried to do a mic drop moment with Shenmue 3. And then when you start digging into the details, it's like, oh, wait, Sony's not actually funding this thing, really. It, right? It, it was, uh, <clears throat> it was, uh, what do you call it? Not Patreon, like Indiegogo. The other, the other one. The better Indiegogo. All right, hold on. Where's my beer right back? There it is. Oh, for the reactions. That's fun. People went nuts over that Shenmue 3. And then the truth came out. And it's like, oh. Uh, awkward. And then the game came out. And it's like, oh. Awkward. Hold on. Let me see if I can get my be right back screen. Hollywood, California. Oh, god damn it. Ah. Oh, I lost my spot. Gosh dang it. For many years. It was easy to interest players. You don't give a crap about the game or anything about more it. More complex challenges and more mature content. Yeah, that it kind of pisses me off that Shenmue 3 situation. It kind of does. But the game itself I don't really care about. Edgier, you say? Yeah. Smash Ultimate. Remember when uh Twilight Princess got revealed at E3, and there were actually people, including professionals, quote unquote, critics, literally crying. Which is uh, kind of embarrassing. Not to shame, but you know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the world you can cry about. All right, I'm trying to get my um, be right back screen working. Ele where are we? Eleven minutes thirty eight seconds. Eleven minutes thirty eight seconds. Damn it! Let's. Uh... What if I refresh? <sighs> Damn it. <clears throat> Let's try creating a new source. 
see if that works. And control audio. Still not working, dude. My be right back is still not working. Is it? Why? From Hollywood, California. When they announced Last of Us 2. I'm, I'm not shaming too much, but to be in, to be in literal tears at a game, I don't know. It's, it's a little, it's tough. It's tough, man. There's some real problems we got in this world. There are tons of reactions to it from the year of anticipation of releasing and the four years of DLC for Smash Ultimate. Yeah, every time they released a character, people would like lose their minds, right? There were people who thought Ultimate was just a port of four. Really? We should have a lot of new clips. I know, there's falling. I seriously don't, oh, now it's working. <laughs> I can't hear it and it's loud. What? It's working. For what? reasons. Okay. <laughs> I have to use the bathroom. I think Game Grumps was one of them. You like Game Grumps, right? I think you said that. Boy, were they wrong. I'm curious what they're gonna do next for Smash because like, I know they said it's over, right? But I think my guess what they're gonna do with Smash as a franchise is just keep re-releasing Ultimate, but just keep adding on to it, you know what I mean? Like, and then when the next Switch comes out, just like make it a better looking and better running version and then just keep adding to it. I, I, that's kind of what I think is gonna happen. Um. But I'm in the middle wrong. of war. War is hell, I was told. I will be right back. These knights over here. Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I saw he was a jerk. Screenshot him. Everything after he ends stream. Game over, man. Right? This son of a bitch. Oh, remember this game? Get boot Bridget. Get get boot Bridget. Get get boot boot Bridget. Get boot. Get boot 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 Bridget. Get get boot Bridget. Oh. Uh. Get, get get boot Bridget Bridget. You got three new clips right away. Hell yeah. Let's go. This one's long. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, this game. I this is quit. an old one. I quit 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 quit. Quit, quit, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I quit, 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 quit. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, did I do something <laughs> wrong? It's painful memories. I don't know what a stabilizer does besides stabilize, but what does that mean? Let's go here. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, bear back. Hit it. Yes. Oh, no. No! Oh! That, that didn't work. Hold on. I want to try to get a boop, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Incredible Hulk will not be presented this evening. Oh, that's a fail. You son of you son of. 
of a bitch. How dare you! You blew it! Bingo! Oh, <laughs> how is that a fail? Alrighty then, I got my mango lemonade, healthy-ish energy drink. Oh man, Overwatch 1. Mm. Well, I've streamed a lot of Overwatch. It's one of my most played games, possibly my most played game ever. From Hollywood, California. Which is crazy to think about. <clears throat> Divorce, man, I haven't heard that one in forever. I should have played that during the divorce game. 40 all from Quick Venom. Man, whatever happened to Quick Venom? Oh, this is the part where Nintendo tells you how they're not just a kid's uh, company. The tie is a fail. Are oh, you talking about the soccer game? Television. So tomorrow's systems does not that do not have much room to improve. Most core gamers like you, like me, core gamers love challenges that are more difficult, more time consuming. You notice how you said core and not hardcore. That's fun. Since you barely play it now, I know. I was close to streaming it today. I don't know. I still I still have fun. Like if I played Overwatch right now, I would have a blast. I know that. More complex. But, but how does these sub busy people who spend most of their day walking or going to school? Finally, as we witness the success of Vice City. We won't have Mario shooting hookers, but we will have shooting hookers. Free tropical. Oh, that's a pretty good skin. If I if I remember correctly, that's an alright skin. I hate Doomfist. I hate him with a passion. But I know I missed a month of free stuff. I kind of stopped caring about cosmetics because they changed the format. Like I used to like getting loot boxes and popping them open and see what I got for free. But now it's just all a mess. Our industry has to ask itself how much further we are willing to go. How much further are we willing to go? TV and movies found their limits. Did they? So will we. These challenges to both my company and our industry are considerable. Imagine being such a badass that you could save my company and, and it's Nintendo. But I stand before you today with a clear message. Of course, I want you to know that we understand the challenges. But this is not a matter of understanding. This is a matter of action. My real message today is at Nintendo, we are not waiting to act. We are already acting. The size of our existing creative teams in Kyoto has already increased and we are also opening okay a new all right, all right. To, uh, this f0 game did they just say third party stuff other kinds of games one that appeal to every kind of gamer and every kind of taste for these we are turning aggressively to our great third party oh, outreach okay 
bring that model back to the, to the arcades to look at that it's the triforce dude namco sega and nintendo which one's courage which one's wisdom which one's power i think sega's courage namco is wisdom and nintendo's power nintendo power of course nintendo power nintendo is power <clears throat> of course yep now you're playing with power yep yep sega's courage because they're the edgy ones yep we got it i bet he doesn't have the new free slime echo skin no <laughs> I do not. How bad is it for you to partner with Nintendo? I have a 10 minute presentation with him about a Sims for it. Race against opponents. You're really on that Sims port thing. Yeah, we've seen this. Tons of new free items like skin in the battle pass this season, but the battle pass you either have to buy or unlock through playing, right? I just, I don't know, I don't like that whole system. The courage of making trash. I know, right? Technically Nintendo's the oldest because they were like making those trading cards in the 1900s, but yeah, basically Namco is, right? Is D and D them and it's a crazy dialogue cutscene when doing a character's role playing? Ooh, now you're speaking my language. Until they realize Sony kicked their butt. <clears throat> well, Nintendo had it coming. I'm gonna skip a little bit. We know that game. And the same talented people at Factor Five who designed this game. Uh, also the more you play, the more tiers you want to lock. Yeah, I remember that. Tier 10, there is a free Echo skin. I remember it. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. In the fighting category, few names compare to Namco's Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. It's called the Game Triforce. That's true. That's true. That's a fair point. Hey, there's Resident Evil. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, we already seen that, actually. Yeah, look, it's in the mansion. That's so weird. Volleyball and football modes? Oh, go away. I've never done the volleyball one. I swear I don't work at Blizzard. You would think I did, the way I, like, constantly talk about Overwatch. Can never get it again. Our Wait, development agreement can't you get it in another battle pass? No. At this E3, we will see a brand new title named Geist. Yeah, we know Geist. Experience. Which you can see the other teens and young adults. I got mad skills. I'm Who's gonna be the blue ghost, and uh, I'll be Mr. Pink. Pac-Man for GameCube. Mr. Pink. As soon as Pac-Man presses start. Hookman version RE4. Yeah, it was in a mansion, like you said. It's so weird. This limited time black and red diva skin. Ooh, I'm interested in diva skins. Yeah, you are. We can get, we can... Oh, just a second. Sony oh. being blue and Xbox being green is perfect for the Triforce. Oh, that's true. Will you approve this project? That's so true. That's so true. Incredible. Looks like George comics there. George, you want to call? You got to say more in English, otherwise people don't even know how much fun we're having. Here he comes. Where is he? Oh, oh, oh. 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 O
Konami. And uh, I'm very happy that today on this stage we can finally talk to you about that incredible title that we're working on together. I'll let Mr. Kojima explain it. Kojima? Yeah, Metal Gear has got to be you, Kojima. I want to see Kojima! Show me Kojima! Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, because Metal Gear Solid 1, that, that was PlayStation 1, right? Or am I misremembering that as well? And, uh... Mr. Miyamoto's Mario 20 years ago, uh, I wouldn't have been in this industry. Could be three. Could yeah, be because never... it was PS1. That's okay. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Typically, Metal Gears, I feel like, release late in console generations. So. Created a game for a Nintendo system. And today, uh, I'm really happy uh, that I am working on a Nintendo game. You think it's three? <laughs> Unless the poor. So we do have, uh, I believe, a video today. Is that correct? Yes. Hi. What was that one game, Revengeance? That's that's much later, right? Okay, we would like to show Twin you Snakes? the video for Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. I heard Twin Snakes. There it is. Genes exist to pass down our hopes. And this is another big blind spot for me. I don't like stealth games, so I I've avoided. I played the first Metal Gear on NES. And I played Metal Gear Solid 1, and then I played Metal Gear Solid 5. I beat Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain. It's a port. <clears throat> Metal Gear. People love Metal Gear. I don't, I don't know. I never... 5 was fun. I mean, I beat it. But uh, you need to play 3. It's so good. I just... I don't know. All the stealth and dreams for the future through our children living is a link to what will come all life is tethered to the future loving each it's other it's on the switch teaching each new generation oh no <laughs> then the world can change i finally realized it for hell the true meaning of life thank you snake The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was I tell you what, guys. How about this? Aren't they like remastering or rebooting or remaking a Metal Gear? I forget which one they're doing. But when that comes out, maybe I'll play that one. <clears throat> that way I can have a nice, crisp, good looking new old Metal Gear game. Oh, that's right. They're bringing those. They're bringing that. Yeah, they're bringing those old ones back. You can't wait to play these again. Uh, I'll check out the one that's being like remastered. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna check out the old ones that are just being ported to the Switch. Featured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson and the president of Arms Tech, Kenneth Baker. Secondly, I just, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists... I'm kind of... This is kind of a hot take. Kojima is super talented. I think he's a little overrated. Just in the sense that, like... God, people... Oh, they obsess over him. And I think sometimes he gets a pass with some things. I think Death Stranding really kind of, like, highlighted that with the story. I think a lot of people were were suddenly like, oh, yeah, this story. One and two. The PS5 later. I can't wait. For, then I do the remake. Really? The remake, I'll check out. I will check that out. It fell off. Did it? I like five. <clears throat> Comes out October 24th. Not too sneaky here. Wow, it's a lot of Metal Gear. <laughs> Book characters, also two digital graphic novels. Jesus, wow! I just want the remake, I don't want all that stuff. You adore the Death Stranding story, really? That's a hot take. That's a, that's a that's a hot take. 
I never beat it. I played a good chunk of it, but like everyone I hear talk about it is like kind of underwhelmed and like almost sad because like I guess light spoilers, the concepts that they talk about in the beginning of Death Stranding are the concepts that they end with where it's like hey man, maybe technology is like binding us but also helping us come together but like can get out of hand man and it's like oh and i like how kojima was like americans just didn't get the story like it's complicated and i'm like what from what i heard it's just like being stoned in college talking about hey man technology man have the ability to make a nuclear strike you know what i mean stop them if they do okay and then there's the remake They are perfect. I want the old games. You, you, you have no faith. That's a good point in Konami. Are they really perfect though? The way they are. I think sometimes Kojima, his fans sometimes. the best. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's great? Oh, is it great? Okay, you're saying your game is great? Never ending great concepts. You know, let me decide that. I don't... <laughs> the people who make the game saying it's great is a little arrogant. That never needs to be touched, really. Oh, I guess maybe you wouldn't even want like to clean up those gross polygons, like in Metal Gear One. Classic. Stop it! Stop saying you're so amazing. I hate that. I hate arrogance. Agrees. Three is the best. I guess it is. It's part of the charm. I don't know, man. Those early 3D polygons are kind of rough to go back to, but... Uh... You can't fight your genes. It's... Fit. I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. Uh, oh, you're wrong. Never ending great concepts the is a great description for a game. Disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. It's very arrogant. Number one confirmed. The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch Still a nuclear looks fantastic. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. For the time, for the time, it looks good. No doubt about it. Experimental weapon, a truly historical weapon. Pal code number three confirmed. Those boys are totally insane. No, it's it's more like no. See, that's where I disagree, Frosty. I think it's more like saying Mario sixty four should be cleaned up. <clears throat> you know, which I think is not a hot take. Um, uh, we're, we're talking about early three D polygons as opposed to sprites. Sprites, like I always say, has like a timeless appeal to it. It's just my opinion. Everyone has their opinions, but early polygons, early three Ds. It looks fine. It's it, it works. It does the trick. You're telling me you would not want, though, a Mario 64 that looks and plays sharper? I would. It's moving. We yeah, still have I the old one we can go back to. Damn. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Oh, I this what about Mario Kart 64? That's good sake. Oh, got shot. Oh, my camera for a hot minute. Ah, yes, that's it. I don't know, man. There's just, there's just, they're 
Kojima, there's an arrogance that comes off to me. I don't know. I've been waiting for this pain. Oh, is it a phantom Everyone pain? Everyone always wants to use the newest, latest technology. What's well, right? Are you calling me brother? Yeah, that's true. Are you? Well, wait. I'm you. I'm your shadow. I'm your shadow. It's like that Tool song. They're going to do some remastering to it. I'd be just happy if it was a straight port from the PS Run that ran at 60. Would you? Yeah, well, I don't know. Wouldn't that feel lazy, though? I guess if you think it's perfect, then no, it wouldn't. I'm not into Metal Gear Solid for one how it looks. And it still plays fine. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like you have the original you can go back to. Why not? Uh, you don't have to overhaul it, but... Uh... I mean, what about Resident Evil 4? They made that one look a whole lot prettier. Was that good? I think Resident Evil 4, the original, looks amazing. You don't need to change it. As you can see from the video, this is a huge collaboration for us. We've actually got one other person here today who's working together with us on Metal Gear Solid. Mr. Dennis Dyack from Silicon Knights. Silicon Knights. Uh, uh. That's not messing with something that works fine. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. Original looks okay still. Is there everything else that needs touching? Really? See, that, I actually, I don't know. It's very exciting to be here. Um, one of the things that I've often said about... To me, I think the point remains the same for both. If you think Resident Evil 4... Working with could have doesn't mind some touch-ups like very much to me also metal gear solid one falls so into that category because the they both look fine for the really time and are totally an playable uh, to the gamecube players out there but more wow you hate how already four played is a relationship that's being bonded and i really think it's a That's a hot take. The future the pacing was a mess. These are some hot takes from John today. I respect it. And the future of video Sizzling. Everybody I've always heard is like, dude, RE4 is one of the best games ever made. Including Metroid Prime with Retro Studios in Texas. Eternal Darkness with Dennis's team in Canada. I respect it. Skip it, skip it, skip it. And I hope that someone look at this power in action. Oh, what was with the voice effects? Uh. Oh my god, I forgot they put Link in there! Well, excuse me, Soul Calibur 2. Exact same reaction as I do after you played it earlier this year. <clears throat> Did he play... The first RE4, he probably did. Pretty much everybody did except me. Back in the day, I mean. What? D John is bringing it today, man. He is bringing it. Everybody I always hear talk about Resident Evil is like, 4 is, f is pretty much the best. All right. First time this year. A lot of it might be nostalgia, you know, where people who, I don't know, well, who knows, but hot takes either way. Didn't Tekken put Nintendo characters, did Tekken put Nintendo characters in it? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, the audio is all over the place. What? Damn, John. He's on fire today. Hold on, I got something for you, buddy. I got something for you. I've never heard someone say that. Damn! Wow, let's go. Uh, okay, continue. Let's skip the montage. Ooh, Sword of Mana. Forgot about that game. Totally forgot about Sword of Mana. Product number three. Like if we were going, RE games with the seven, they change the game, no remakes. I've never ever heard someone say once five is better than four. So that, that's just why I'm kind of shocked. But look, man, these are all opinions. 
Whoa! Got loud all of a sudden. Sorry. I apologize. The audio is all over the place. Metroid Prime. <laughs> Sports, James Bond. We entered this E3 with a momentum, and we will build on it in the month ahead. As always. Right, how about this one then? Resident Evil One. Do you agree on the the H the remake that they did for? Uh... Oh, what's this? Was it Dreamcast? GameCube? The Resident Evil uh, remake one? Oh, you got deleted! RE2 is number one. RE1 is number two. Well, that's one thing everybody seems to agree with you is RE6 is the worst. So, so that's not a hot take. Everything else kind of is. Prime 4, Prime 3. Or no, wait, Prime 4, also known as that one game that comes out at the same time as Spikehorn Castle 3. <laughs> Nintendo will prosper as we move into the true mass market. Nintendo Night has five. never been more focused, never more determined, never more Nightbot willing hates to John. take risks. I think, I think your takes are too hot for Nightbot. I think that's the problem. Nightbot's like, no, nah, I'm shutting this shit down. John has uh, gone overboard with his hot takes. Uh, has been beefing since 93. Wow. Rather play six? Okay. We will not retreat. Spicy. Make no mistake. We are staying right in the middle of the home console battle. Okay. I like how they're flexing that they're number two. This whole conference is like, yo, we're number two and we're staying there. We're not going to go number one. We don't want that shit. We're number two. That's our goal. The successor to Nintendo GameCube is already in development. <gasps> and this time, we will be? not give our competitors a head start reaching the market. We are going to do it our way, and we are going to succeed. Thank you all. And George and I look forward to answering your questions. Are you one remake is fantastic. Are you, well, see, so, but do you think like, is it okay that they did that like remake one? Because like that's kind of my point here. Although that's a little different because that's like a that's like a remake. It's not just like a remaster. But like, let's just focus on the art style. Like, was that a good thing that they did that? Because I think RE one the original looks fantastic still and totally works. Thank you, Mr. Awada. And we've received hundreds of inquiries. But I'm so glad that they did that remake. Weeks, and we've tried to select some of the best that represent the most frequently asked questions. Years later. For here, you here today. Uh, to deliver those questions to us, we've invited Edward Williams. We've got, we've got a few questions here. Figure questions. Get with, uh, the first They're ending the show with a banger. A bunch of guys reading questions. After RE7, they're using the remakes to make a new story. One for me, given Sony's now. Makes to make a new story. Yeah, they are changing it, aren't they? They're, they're altering it. But uh, given the Sony's announcement of the PSP, what will Nintendo do to ensure continued third-party support Loud. for the Game Boy Advance? And what changes? All right. Well, that's Advance Nintendo, that everybody. They ended on a banger. So let's move on. Um. Let's check out Xbox. I think we've probably seen most of what Xbox Good evening, everyone. has to offer. In a journey beyond imagination. Oh my God, the music. Seven changed a lot of stuff. You know, everything before 7 happened, they're making changes with the remakes to make it all fair. Well, yeah, the remakes aren't completely changing the story, right? They're kind of like sliding pieces around, I think. I don't know. I'm not a huge Resident Evil fan. Where's PlayStation? Well, we need to find it. It's the problem. We need to find it. 
I think I have it. We just need to find it. This volume is all over the place. Bungie! Wait. And this time, it's coming on Xbox Live. Here's Joe Staten from Yeah. It was heavily edited, though. I think this is more pure footage. And I need an RE5 remake announcement so bad. John, it's going to happen. This is We live in an era where originality is kind of thrown out the door. Everything's going to be remade. We're going to have the same comic book characters. We're going to have the same Star Wars people. We're going to have the same games being remade, which isn't all bad, but... In Dude, Halo 2, what can you say about that, man? Gone are the days where you needed LAN parties. Yeah. Soon we will have remakes of remakes. Yeah, exactly. It'll never end. The cycle will never end. Have to be an entirely new game. And you see what they even try to do with RE6? RE6 is going to be the last one they do. <clears throat> I mean, because everybody has low opinions of RE6. I actually played that game. I didn't like it that much either. But uh, that's going to be the last one. Can't read it on Resident Evil 4 Remake Remaster. <laughs> the oh, I guess that counts. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening was originally remastered for the Game Boy. Sure, for the Game Boy uh, Color, that is. Yeah, I guess that counts, kind of. Keep it posted, Cortana. Of course, Sergeant. It's a mess of a game. I did not Sir, enjoy it. Perez, eh, company? CP's this I way. did not have fun playing it. Must be seeing things. It's the brass, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Stay with me, Marine. No tags. Hang two units, own egg. And he needs an airway. I'm calling it. It's 1900. The lieutenant got hit as soon as we dropped in. Who's in charge now, Corporal? Uh, Sergeant Banks, ma'am. He's pinned down up front. Come on, I'll show you. It's fun co-op. Maybe. I didn't try co-op. That's the only way I'll recommend it to anyone. Three more. Coming left. I'm running low. Well, to be fair, most games are fun co-op. Is it clear? You tell me. Even bad games. If you're with a friend... You know, so uh, you can have fun. Most games, I think. That's a stretch night bot. That's not Resident Evil 2, I don't think. Still looks good. Speaking of still looking good, game still looks good. We gotta take that thing out. Cover me. But come on, what did you want? Like a game like this with the, with the with the early polygons, just to look beautiful. You could still have this game. You can go back to, and it's certainly charming and looks good. But I'm all for like making things look prettier. As long as you do it right. Speaking of Link's Awakening, the original Link's Awakening looks amazing. But they did like a... a new one. And that looks amazing too. Pokemon Let's Go. Pokemon Go. Let's remake a red and blue. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna skip some of this. We know, we know Halo Two. It's a great game. One of the most important shooters in console game history. Easily. It's something else. You've seen where our industry can go. 
The video game industry has... Link's, a, is Link's Awakening is probably the most controversial Zelda game. Nah, you know what's the most controversial Zelda game? I'll tell you right now what it is. It's not Link's Awakening, and it's not Skyward Sword. It's Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. That's the most controversial Zelda game. Unless you count the CDI games, but nobody counts those. Rip Halo Infinite. I know, right? Two choices. Great game. There's business as usual. Great game. Some incremental growth. Or there's the opportunity for explosive growth to make interactive entertainment pervasive on the order of All music, right. snap poll movies, and chat, and TV. And we can make that. Yeah, your day. Link, Zelda audience. Two: Links Awake. Uh, Zelda Two: The Adventures of Link. Expanding the definition of video game entertainment. So what are we waiting for? I'm a, I'm a nay. At Xbox, it's a good we're game, not kind of, but because we don't have to. We're not nay, waiting thank for you. the next hardware mm. cycle before expanding video game thank entertainment. Thank you. Taking it online and merging it with the music Never played they it. listen to, the sports they love, and the friendships they cherish. Here's the thing about Zelda 2. The defenders will tell you that just because it's side-scrolling doesn't mean it's bad or shouldn't be considered a true Zelda game. And I agree with that for the most part. But here's the thing. It is nowhere on the level of a Zelda game, no matter what you say about it. That's number one. And number two, this was the era where side-scrolling action games were one of the most popular things, right? And so there were so many amazing side-scrolling action games. Zelda 2 doesn't even get up to the high levels in that genre. And it doesn't get up to the high levels in the Zelda franchise. It's a decent to good side-scrolling action game. But in terms of side-scrolling action games, in terms of Zelda games, it's low tier. <clears throat> the defenders aren't many people. No, there's plenty of defenders. And I can see some of their argument. The controls are kind of clunky. Yes, lack of exploration. Although, ooh, so Zelda's a blind spot for you. Breath of the Wild, I remember, was one of them. Can't remember the other one. Wind Waker, maybe. We're not waiting for the future. Xbox is creating the future now. Wait, TP. Which one's TP? Likes it more than Breath of the Wild. As the software and service. John's got leader, some hot takes. Microsoft has what it takes to drive. Twilight Princess, duh. Like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, that's surprising. Drive <clears throat> that continuous innovation. We've got what it takes to wow. inspire the next generation of games like Halo 2. We've got what it takes to build and John's grow got the, hot the takes. largest no about it. content services, Xbox Live. All right, well, that's the end of Xbox show. Let's see if we can find... Um, let me try a couple things here. First, let me try this. In the living room. Potential for Okay, okay. So this video is from a German guy in GameStop. That grants on the hope that you will... I think. No, wait. This is the wrong one. No, this is E3. Wait, here's Sony. All right, you guys want to see Sony? <laughs> wow. How dare you, John? You son of a bitch. I will not stand for such uh, heathenistic, uh, blasphemous talk. It's like sixth for me. Yeah, it's 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 pretty low. Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild are basically tied for me at the top. Link to the Past is right there. Arguably better, but right there. And then I'd probably go Ocarina as number four. No, no, no. Actually, I'm going to go Wind Waker HD number four. That's a hot take. Then I'm going to go... Ocarina 5. Then I'm going to go Link's Awakening 6. Yeah, I said it. Uh, then I might go Minish Cap 7. Then Twilight Princess. Might be 8 for me. <clears throat> it is better than Breath of the Wild. Okay. You got to clean off those hot takes, man. Shower off all those grimy hot takes. I'm just kidding. I'm playing around. And I like Twi you didn't you didn't like Twilight. Also had it had that emo wolf section. 
It was like Werehog from Sonic, but a little better. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Yeah, the whole vibe of it is... It's one of the reasons why Majora's Mask didn't hit for me. It did, it did kind of have this, like, weird vibe to it. Oh, I forgot about Link Between Worlds. Damn it. All right. Change the list. Link Between Worlds is going to... Shit. Is it going in my number four spot? No, I'm going to put it at 5 below Wind Waker. Between Wind Waker and Ocarina. Frosty got the hot take about Majora. You do love that Majora mask. I... I don't know. That game makes me sad. In so many ways. You know what doesn't make me sad? Sony 2003 E3. Yeah, let's go. See, even back then, dude, Sony was bringing it. Like, I will give Sony credit here. They have a flair for the dramatic. Like, this is already so much more entertaining than Microsoft and Nintendo's, just on a, like, visual medium level so far. <clears throat> Unique and darker. Yeah, it's unique, all right. The time-based mechanics, I hate it. Conceptually, I liked, but in practice, no, stop putting me on all these timers. Let me do my thing. Please welcome, Kaz Harai. Yours mess for the win. For us, and uh, this year promises to be more exciting and we have a lot of ground to cover uh, today with you. A lot of exciting information that we're very excited to share with you. A lot of new information on the PlayStation business and we're, we're taking the PlayStation business. And so uh, I hope that you will uh, share all the information uh, with uh, everybody. Oh, well, that's and, fun, uh, Zelda tier I list. find the press conference to be very informative. So I'm gonna jump right- Where do you rank Minish Cap? And where do you rank Link Between Worlds, Frosty? I'd be curious about that. Those are two, and, and keep in mind, I have no uh, nostalgia for Minish Cap. And, and it's amazing going back to playing it for the first time recently. Breath of the Wild, Link to the Past, Majora's Mask. What? Saki loves Majora's too? Wind Waker. Skyward Sword above Twilight. Wow. I did. <clears throat> We all know that the video game industry is an industry in transition. Dude. In the 18 Dude, play Minish Cap. It's on the Switch service. Oh, it's freaking amazing. <clears throat> amazing. Side note? I love that word neophyte. Right there, neophyte. That's a good word. It describes me in many ways. Okay, play. 80s saw the start of the recorded music industry when Edison first invented the phonograph. And we again revolutionized the industry by launching the PlayStation 2. Yeah, it's on North the expansion America, family Japan, plan. Uh, you got your, your basic territory. pitch plan? Okay. I'm going to take a very brief moment to explain and share with you some of the latest numbers on where we are with the PlayStation business. And on the PS1, on a worldwide basis, no joke. We are now over One of the reasons. Million Units. Why I so got really the expansion plan is for Minish Cap. Magic 100 millionth PlayStation. And, and I don't regret it. Not to be outdone, <clears throat> the PS2, over 51 million units now worldwide. Still, the install base it's is It's so good. It looks incredible still. The sound design, and I love the gimmick where you could turn into uh, a little guy in a big world. Basic bitch plan or full price game for a year. <laughs> <clears throat> well, there were, it wasn't just for that reason I got it, I, you know, but... At about two and a half to three times that of the install base pickup of the original PlayStation. Taking a look at software, that's where, that's where all the, uh, the business is really coming yeah, from. Yeah, of course you can emulate it. Is king. 917 million PlayStation software units worldwide. Don't care. Look at the competitive tie ratios. As you can see, life to date, PlayStation 2... Let's take a look. 
what tie ratios. 6.5 again. On the PlayStation 2, just in North America, we expect to have, by the end of the year, more than 580 titles in the PlayStation family. Well, yeah, N64 was another reason, especially because N64 emulation is still pretty crappy in a lot of ways. As I stood here last year... And you know me, I'm a defender of the N64. I'm a, I'm a big defender. It's got so many great games. It's got the best golf game ever made. <clears throat> it's got Mario Kart. It's got Mario 64. It's got Wayne Gretzky's Hockey. It's got uh, all those amazing wrestling games. I talked about the fact that the console Smash. war was over. And boy, was it ever over. 51.2 million units worldwide. In the console wars is great, but it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we further evolve the business is. beyond the traditional battle of the boxes. Newest console I've ever emulated, not quo, counting handhelds. And leadership requires new thinking. Mm. So don't just look to PlayStation and Sony for just leadership DS in the emulation. game space. Really, look to us for finding the right path. Well, that's one of the problems with the 3DS, the emulation, you know? Uh, which is a problem like link between worlds they need to re-release that and figure out a way to do it <clears throat> it wouldn't be that hard you don't need a 3d it's not quarter the emulator was gamecube i mean i have that atari 50th collection there's a lot of good jaguar and jaguar cd stuff on there good this good emulation to entertainment conversions <clears throat> remember that fighting game on atari jaguar how do we do that? What a piece we'll of shit that was. Approach. Leadership, reflecting, understanding. What's with all the like triangles? Like they're taking a three prong pr approach. Nintendo's doing the Triforce. What the consumers want from us. And Microsoft had the three guys on stage. Everybody's doing threes. Yeah, people emulated Switch. Remember when that person put out that Breath of the Wild 4K version on emulation? so cool <clears throat> and yeah you can definitely emulate switch linus tech tips told you how to do that continuously evolve playstation breeds the hits this is just a example of some of the great uh, he's still going on great titles that have come to playstation breeds the hits. find really what gaming is uh. not to be outdone We've worked hard to it does bring look great. innovative, envelope-pushing, exciting titles from our first-party studio. See? That's why I want prettier games. Nintendo, put out a better system. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm shallow, but I want my games to look pretty. You can pirate Switch games, too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but... And this is an example of some of the million sellers that we've had from our first party studios. Oh my God, SOCOM. Dude, I played the crap out of SOCOM. You remember that game? That was fun. With the choreography. All right, here we go. Games. Here we are early in the year 2000 and we're putting together a game that's based on Hong Kong action movies. I think this is the one that John was saying he believes it, it became Sleeping Dogs. Nintendo and better system in what world? Yeah, I know. I know, look, I know this is like I'm in the minority here, but I wish Nintendo would put out a powerful system. <clears throat> like, <sighs> I know their art style doesn't need high-tech graphics, but it wouldn't hurt to have it nice and shiny. It's never been a thing for Nintendo. No, it never has been. Not since the Super Nintendo. Jet Li calls up Sony and says, Hey, I'd like to be in a video game. But I want it. I we want it. Make a action. I want an official Tears of the Kingdom 4K release. Uh, Link Between Worlds is... So what 4 is... <clears throat> Wind Waker. 5... I think I said 5 is Link Between Worlds, right? 4 is Wind Waker. 5... Yeah, because 3 is linked to the past, 4 is Wind Waker HD, specifically HD. 
That's never happening. Yeah, I know. So I think five, and then Ocarina. I think that's movement in the movie. Because you have a character, you have a bad guy, they have you know table, chair, you have location, situation. If you've seen any sort of a well, wait, where's Minish Cap? No, mm. Jeff, he's got guys flying at him from every different angle. I guess Minish really is after Ocarina. Sixty degree fight system. When I played a lot of games, all the actions were so simple. But for this project, we're using motion capture to give the characters more realistic motion. It's a good opportunity to work with Sony PlayStation because the game, like a movie, is teamwork. <laughs> After Ocarina. Yeah, uh, see, the thing about Ocarina is I'm giving it a lot of credit for being so innovative. Like, that's the thing. Like, I have no desire to go back and play Ocarina. I don't think I would enjoy it particularly. Um, like, I would much rather play Minish Cap or, you know, so many other Zelda games than Ocarina. But Ocarina, man, it did so much for the video game industry and for Zelda. Like, I'm giving it a lot of credit for that. Here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I'm not just ranking these on the, the games I want to play the most. I'm kind of adding in the caveat of, like, well, also, how, how, how fun was it to play back in the day? And now let me talk about the killer app on the PlayStation and certainly for the PlayStation. Didn't we period. watch this? None other than Gran Turismo. Some of it. I hope I was successful in showing you how Gran Turismo 4 has increased. You'd rather play Tears of the Kingdom than any Zelda game. Yeah, well, that's why I ranked it number one. <laughs> one of the reasons. Uh, cause I think I agree with you. Although Link to the Past still holds up. You to a certain extent. We're going to be phasing in hardware that is going to take advantage of you any time of the day without uh, waking up your family or uh, or friends, especially when you're playing at three in the morning. Am I so, right? It's the extended value proposition of the PlayStation 2 with the network adapter bundled in is going to be available for $199. Again, extending the value proposition that we bring to the consumers. Good price. Two branded all the peripherals with and this Okay, see Sony had a great intro, but it's a lot of talking on stage. You're you're losing me, Sony. I like guys talking on, or girls talking on stage for these events, but... Technology was developed PlayStation 2 down here, and there's no controller hooked up right now because the camera is going to be my interface. What is this the PlayStation Eye? It doesn't work, Saki. Is greater than Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild combined. Ugh, just saying those words makes me want to hurl. What you're seeing on screen is the same thing I'm seeing on my television set, and it's what a user would see. So there's... To interact with the system is very intuitive. You just reach up and move your hand in front of the buttons, and you can scroll through them. It's so funny when game when game companies try to do this bullshit. See, the good thing about Sony, it's a double-edged sword because a lot of the stuff, the peripherals, all the side show bullshit, they abandon that stuff so quickly. You know, the P, the Vita, the I, the move like. Whereas Microsoft does just the opposite. Like when they get it stuck in their head, they want to release a weird thing like the Kinect, they go all in. And it's a double-edged sword because on one hand, you don't want companies to abandon their stuff so quickly before it has a chance to succeed. But on the other hand, like they're, they're extreme opposites in that sense. Mini games that we have on this disc here. Sony just like the games and abandoned started. shit so quickly. Kung Fu. We just say select that game. Okay, you just chose Kung Fu. Chose okay, Kung Fu. all right. So Kung Fu is a classic arcade style. What? They still do Connect stuff? Not really. They finally got the hint to abandon it. That honestly, I'm telling you right now that the Connect 
was one of the key reasons why Microsoft lost the lead in the console wars. It's not the only reason, but it is a big reason because nobody cared about it, yet they kept focusing on it and packaging it with the system, which raises the cost of the system. It's it's the connect and it's the lack of focus on first party titles that that made them lose style game where there's a lot of bad guys that are coming after you and you have to try to fight them off and it has a lot of the traditional gameplay elements of multiple levels bonus rounds and there's a big boss at the end so this but is showing thank god they finally got rid of it bad guys we'll get started here they never try to talk Again, about it anymore because the they know through the camera they're like yeah <laughs> so this looks, show you how that works right now get ready fight fight all right Yes, yeah, the pit. The, the interface die. is really flexible, and and you can be creative with what you do. You can. can you you need to be in rise to honor. Use your head. Forget Jet Li. <laughs> oh boy. And when you want to exit the game, you can just Very walk up cool. to the camera, put your hand over the game, that exits you to the the menu screen. Peak E three. <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm sure I want to exit. As yes. I mentioned before, do your impression of an actually, Asian man again. There's games on the disc that comes with the camera, and there's a wide variety of games. There's a uh, rhythm action games, fighting games, a little bit of sports. Surprises didn't games. break. So I'm going to show you another game here real fast. Wishy washy. All right. Wishy washy is probably the most novel of all the games that come on the disc. It's actually a. So the idea with Wishy Washy is it's going to come up and you're not going to see me because I'm behind a dirty window. And the job I have to do is clean the oh dirty boy. windows. Oh boy. This is great, especially for young people and people of all ages, because it's very simple what you have to do. You just have to move around and clean the windows. <laughs> so the faster you do it, the more windows you clear off, the, the more points you get. Now, did you bring your squeegee today or is this not part of the package? <laughs> I'm trying. It's a bit of a workout here. Why don't you come over and help me, Kat? Wishy Washy no, from Pokemon? So I'm, I'm not... Come on, come on. Pokemon right, well, that wouldn't I, appear I, for I, another. I, wow. I tell you, I hate it when. That Pokemon company stole the name Wishy Washy. Things are not in the script here. Yeah, you okay. can clean off that. There we go. All right, just stand here. Yeah, just stand okay. there. Go ahead. Uh -oh. oh, this is what I want. This is exactly what I want from E3. Oh man, this is it. There was a lot of wishy washies. Obviously, a water type, right? I think he's better than I am. Wait a minute. We can do it together, too, oh, okay. which is another great, great thing. Right, you know? Take that part. He can cover that side, I cover this side. Is this like a new career for me? or? Uh... <laughs> there we go. Very cool. Okay, why don't you come out here again? Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Richard Marks. Doctor? Okay, a bit of a work out there. Okay. Uh, so iToy Camera, it will ship with uh, a disc with 12 game applications. Dead ass cute fish. Uh, for a $39 SRP, and it will become available here in North America in October of this year. Now, um, there were, uh, you know, we just demonstrated two uh, very fun games. But iToy as a camera, as a <coughs> peripheral, has really a lot of long-term potential. Man, the iToy. I would love to like go back and play a lot of those games because like I'm familiar with about ten iToy games I've seen play people play, but like it's such a weird blip in video game history that nobody talks about. A lot of people don't remember. I think it'd be fascinating to go back and check out the library. It was a big fish, formed by multiple of them. Hmm. It's a cute name for Pokemon, Wishy Washy. Yay, we got our tier list. Yay. Now, is this my tier list or yours? We can talk, we're talking about real time special effects, video conferencing, which we are actually showcasing at the Logitech booth at E3. Uh, you know, a, a virtual pet application. It's not a bad price, though. When you think about it, 
forty dollars <clears throat> and it comes with a bunch of stuff. That's not a terrible price. Do you guys remember the camera they had for the Xbox 360? I still have that thing. The only thing I ever used it for was playing Uno on Xbox Live Arcade. And let me tell you something. If you're not familiar with Uno on Xbox 360 Live, that is a rabbit hole, my friend. A dark rabbit hole. Because... It was a place where it was just a bunch of, like, debauchery. It was just, like, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yes, Uno on an Xbox 360 Live was a place for sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I, I've seen some shit, man, that I will never unsee. Really, the list is endless. And right out of the box, by the way, <laughs> there was so much uh, shit in there. Incorporated a feature where you could. It was um, it was like honestly amazing, honestly amazing. It was like chat roulette, basically, but Uno. <clears throat> Remember chat roulette? Uh, tape video messages up to. Uh, a... And it's so weird. Like you would never think Uno, like. Uno's one of the most wholesome, family-friendly games, and yet for some reason, all the like freaks, geeks, and weirdos went to Uno. In it on your uh, memory card, and so uh, you know, instead of putting sticky notes on the I've seen people having sex, actually, doing uh, drugs, a like a message for your uh, friends and family right through iToy through the uh, the iToy camera. So some very exciting applications. Doing cocaine with iToy. They were arguing about now not like having Uno as a pack into their the Xbox. Our, uh, no, strategy, I don't remember that. that. Community. Last year, when I spoke about the play. What is your ranking of the 20 games minus a few you didn't play? Uh, oh, see, I have to really think about that. You're asking me a huge question. I mean, Tears, Breath of the Wild, Link to the Past. Wind Waker HD are all S tier. Uh, Minish Cap is A tier. Link's Awakening is A tier. Either the original or the remake. Both are A tier. Ocarina. Oh, S. I didn't know we were doing S plus. I thought they stopped at S. S you know what I mean. S plus then for the S's. Um, Ocarina is a tough one. I. I might go with a B. Because it was a cheap one in 360, and it came in as a pack in two, and a 360 was cheap. The entire Xbox community is still scattered with freaks. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. They haven't gone away. They're still here. PlayStation 2 and moving the PlayStation 2 consumers into the online space, a lot of people ask the question, can console gaming really become a viable part and, uh, I'd have to think about Frosty. That's a big a question. Of the console gaming experience. The answer is a definite yes, as long as you have the right strategy. And the first key to success, obviously, is to make sure that you have a solid platform position, which we definitely have with the PlayStation Party Publishing. So much talking, dude. This whole press conference is basically like, "Yo, we're Sony. Check out how big our ding dong is." That's all this is. It doesn't sell itself is that content really builds the community you have to have exciting content to have people come like wishy-washy speak 58 percent broadband for oh my god this is an amazing pie chart 42 percent were dial up in 2003 58 percent were broadband See, I, I like I said, I really gotta think about that because Zelda One was, is one of the most important video games of all time, but it's not that fun to go back to. It still holds up well enough. So where do I where do I rank that? You know, like in the history of gaming, it's an S plus easily, easily. But like you know, that's a tough one. Zelda Two is a C. Link Between Worlds is an S. If not an S plus, Majora is a C. I haven't played Skyward enough of Skyward. 
compared to the rest of the game. So like, hmm, that's real. I ha I really gotta think about that one. That's, hmm. I think the Zelda one you have to give S plus just because of how important it is. Like I can't. I feel dirty not saying Zelda one's not an S plus because it's one of the most important video games ever made. Dial -up. We made sure with the network adapters <clears throat> that we left no one behind, and the numbers really speak for themselves. It took the There's ideas considerable of, of adventure from Atari and created and a genre sure out of it. Adapter that we included them in our online plans. <laughs> so what are the next steps? <laughs> Link's what adventure. We want to do is take the more than 600,000 users that we've been able to... Wait, where's Wand of Gamelon? I don't see Wand of Gamelon on there. Uh, ...bring to the PlayStation 2 online user base community. And once we reach critical Jesus, mass, this it guy. A, a whole... Also, I like how they say biz, B-I-Z. A professional press conference, and they're talking like internet slang. Is Link Between Worlds in between Link to the Past and Wind Waker? Uh, no. I'm going to put it below Wind Waker. I'm going to put it one step below Wind Waker, I think. It's such a tough one. Wind Waker HD specifically. <clears throat> Twilight Princess is B, is a B tier. It ranks down near the bottom. Uh, it ranks above Zelda 2. It ranks above uh, Majora's Mask. Most of different. He loves uh, eating up Sony. Whether it's Seriously. We'll be coming to PlayStation 2 with online capability 11 for the North American 11. So this is like one of the most boring press conferences ever, Sony. Oh, so please take a look. Is that Final Fantasy? What? Zelda 1, B or S plus? I have to give it an S plus. <clears throat> I have to, but there's an asterisk there saying like, if, if I were just judging this, based on pure fun it's it's a c really <clears throat> yeah bottom s plus there's no yeah now microsoft has the year actually no that was nintendo when i think about it it's because it's pokemon pokemon fans are special yeah, pie charts. Online services. Nice, Rusty. I'll let you know if I if I see anything that like needs to be changed on that, but this is just off the cuff. Like I had to really think about that, because you're asking me to rank Zelda games. <clears throat> That's a huge thing to ask. go online enable for season madden and nba live and we received it wait is this guy a trip no oh shit john ricatillo isn't he i know that name i think he might be with bungie now <clears throat> he might still be ea madden and nba live and we received an incredible res We have both not played eight. You didn't play Skyward. I didn't play Manish. Oh, that's funny. Yes, uh, Spirit Tracks I didn't play. 
I, I don't think I played Skyward. If I did, it was from Gamefly, and I immediately sent it back because I didn't like it. So I'm going to say I didn't. Uh, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, Skyward. I didn't play the three Zelda games on CDI. We're counting those, I assume. One, two, three. That's six. Um... Try and think what the other two are. Response from core gamers that love sports. More than four hundred and fifty thousand players registered. Oh, if I don't, I don't count like Triforce Heroes and Four Swords. If you count those, that's eight. I don't count those as mainline Zelda games, though. To compete in EA Sports. In fact, I really don't even count CDI as mainline Zelda games. Online on the PS2, which made ours the world's largest console online. Six EA Sports games played live online with tournaments. Let's see if I can get a little play action play here, maybe to yeah. score. All right, here we go. Can we score? Ooh, this defense is too tight. That looks amazing. Let's give you one more play. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're now going to leave the world of the NBA and go on to the world of sports, the world of sports racing, with an EA Sports exclusive, NASCAR Thunder 2004. Now this is a game. Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, and Zelda 2 last. I think everybody puts Zelda 2 as last, <clears throat> and it's funny because it's not a terrible game. It's serviceable. He's a true pro, pro at NFL Buccaneers. Was he playing as the Buccaneers? One of the worst team franchises in NFL history. I think if I remember correctly, they have the worst career franchise win-loss record. How's the car handling? It's looking pretty good here. In terms we'll of current against, where are they? franchises. Up in San Francisco. Up in San Francisco? Let's That's see right. what you we're can do. You're in the Home Depot car, right? That's right. Tony Stewart wins the cup champ. Oh! Big wreck. <laughs> A little pile up. Let's see if you can get it in. Come on. Spectator sport. It's Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. I have our awakening lower than you and uh, new players who George Mass lower than no me. Yeah. Got. This year's games already getting a huge. Yeah. Well, you, you're not a big fan of Twilight either, I think, right? Have you played the Awakening remake? I highly recommend it. It's uh, it's really good. I'll have to double check where I ranked that, but um. They don't anymore because they somehow won against the. the <laughs> no, I think they still do. I'm I'm talking about like overall, like entire franchise of all the NFL teams, like their entire franchise win loss record, percentage wise. I think they have the worst. Huge amount of buzz and a lot of the core play. Cedric the Entertainer. What? Cedric the Entertainer, rest in peace, yo. He's he's a funny guy. Welcome. Also, why is he here? Playing golf? What? What? Is my second least favorite 3D ahead of Skyward. Okay, so you also rank it really low. There's a man. All right. Mr. Woods, where are you? Cedric the Entertainer, dude. You got way too many S tiers. I only put tiers in my very top tier. Really? Right behind Ocarina. It's tough, man, because Zelda, like, it's such an important franchise. Like, I think I'm looking at this too much, like, history of gaming what an outfit oh my this is gonna be the latest dog everybody want to rock this this is seti wear golf 2000 seti wear my friend no red shirt oh my god it's tiger woods this was this was the era of wholesome tiger woods remember the era of wholesome tiger woods <clears throat> yeah ready and when i beat your butt in this then you really, I want to take a picture of you, me, and, and you got to wear this, matter of fact. 
Skyward's <laughs> right behind in B. These, these exact pants, matter of fact, I want them to be. So you like Skyward Sword? Long and shorter. But My goodness. I just want to look. Zelda One is better than Minish Awakening and Ocarina of Time. I mean, from a historical standpoint, yes. I think you simply cannot argue that, from a historical standpoint. It's way better than Minish, way better than Awakening. Ocarina is an interesting one because it that genre in many ways. Like capris. Not are women supposed to wear those? What'd he say? <laughs> <laughs> you on tape delay. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just getting it. Oh, that's funny. No. <laughs> hey, guys, why don't we try to settle this on the course? All right, now, we can do that. Oh you boy. guys chose Pebble Beach. And, um, oh boy. We've already run through the first 17 holes. Let's see what the action is. Those pants are so for far. girls, yep. Cedric. Woods, y'all. EA Sports. Ha ha. In your face. That's right. It goes. And anti They're trying to make. Is that Cedric? Is he in that game? They're trying to make golf all badass. Gangster. <laughs> Whoa! I love how they're trying to make golf all badass. It's one of the most non badass sports ever. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? Gangster Golf, GG. This is incredible. This looks great. We are back live. Tiger and Cedric are tied after 17. I mean, it does look good. Golf games. Aren't... More people need to play golf games. They're just such good video game ass video games. Heading into the key of the 18th hole at Double Big. There's strategy, there's puzzle elements, there's right. a little bit of Sweet. action. Even up. Let's see what you got. Uh, by the way, if uh, anyone's watching, you, you notice that we're playing from the white tee just because of Seth's game. Do you think Tiger Woods is really playing right now? This is totally what they do in golf. Oh, sure. I've been on a golf course many times, and let me tell you, I've always seen that. They start breakdancing after they hit a ball. It's so true. It's so true. Gangs, you know, you get some hip-hop blasting. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't get too nervous. There's a lot of water splashing over there. You know, you've been off lately. Oh. That's real talk. This is live. Okay. Tiger hit this shot. And it certainly looks like right. Do you think he really did? It's cool. Maybe. I want to play this game a little bit. Whoa. All right, Brian. All right. all right, Cedric, what do you think you got? All right, uh, give me the big dog, man. The big dog club. Do you mean a five iron? Nah, man, the big dog club. You know, uh, three wood? Thank you. Slow playing me over here. This is the man. He's playing live. Uh, let me see here. Go back. Let me. All right. That's what kind of stance is that? <clears throat> hey, okay. That's when I had to take my draw. Off. Okay. Whoa. Yes, sir. Look at it. That's a, a Billy uh, Happy Gilmore. Whoa! You didn't know I could play, did you, Tiger? Oh, here we go. That is yeah. Good. All right, Tiger. All right now. Sports player has to be good at the video games coast too. To so true. Whoa. Right. Looking good. Look at that highlight. There we go. Where have we seen that before? I get a little up to a left to right putt. Yeah, that's heck a of a shot. Been, been out there for his morning round, I see now. <clears throat> now I want to yeah, play golf. They, they got the wrong socks on me on the game. That you know what? As cringy and ridiculous as this is, I'll tell you what. It makes me want to play a golf video game right now.
not golf story or not uh no golf story rules soccer story i meant threw me off really. no idea. is that a bot no man i Dude, think that might go right there Hold don't on. talk while someone's in the middle of their swing don't you know etiquette uh, tiger uh, in the hole. i should be dancing i should be dancing on that i don't believe that they're actually playing all right no you'll be away we talking to my caddy man this is so silly this is so silly ginger no buddy what's with the water sounds You okay, buddy? You may not know this, but the caddy is also the producer of the game. <sighs> yeah. uh, today would be great. This is it, man. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you... Are they going to end with golf? That'd be incredible. Oh my god. That's it. That's the pop and lock. Baby. That's the pop and lock. The pop and lock. This is your chance. Don't shake, Tiger, please. All right. Please, Are they going to tie? You know, if you don't get it in this time. EA you know, Football Club game holes. is getting changes to each player, but the animations are going to be exclusive. It's going to mimic the way they move. Oh, that's cool. I guess. wonder if you have to, like. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this round goes to Cedric. <laughs> Look at that dance, it's All right, great. Man. All right. You the man. Tiger, any last words? <laughs> hey, Ted's the man. <laughs> All, right. All right. Tiger, man. thank you very much. All right, guys. Cedric, thanks. thanks for having me. All right, good. Kaz, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, EA Sports Online. It starts this July on the PlayStation 2. We'll see you there. Thanks. There you go, everybody. It's in the game. And what I mean by that is Pop, Lock, and Cedric the Entertainer's in the game. This is this is the EA for the greatest selling console. I know. I know. Well, this was an era where EA was like, their sports games were still fun, <clears throat> and a lot of the reason, I think, because they actually had competition. They didn't dominate the market, you know. Now it's just like they don't have any reason to innovate. I mean, the games are still fun. Like, I still enjoy NHL and Madden and stuff, but, you know. Skip it. Oh, here we go. Exciting. Uh, and uh, he's a gentleman that uh, I always... Ken Kudaragi. All right, that's Thank it. That's have. Sony's. Hi, everyone. Thank you for sharing your valuable time with us today. You have already seen some of the great games coming out on PlayStation 2. That's it. And it's over. Honestly, underwhelming. That was not a great showing at all. They showed very few games. Not many bangers at all. Yeah, well, FIFA's always had competition. Um, Konami has the Pro Evolution Soccer, which I've never played that series, but I have heard people say it's better than FIFA. Um, so they've had competition there. They've had competition in NBA, but they decided because, because there's competition and because, you know, Take Two was eating their lunch in NBA. They're like, screw it, we're done with NBA. So they got out of the NBA market. But yeah, every game looks the same. Yeah, it's just updated rosters. And they, they're like, one of the problems with EA is that they force developers to use their, uh, what is it, the Frostbite engine? So like every game they make, <clears throat> has to be the same engine and it's really not a smart move 
because you're hamstringing your artists and engineers. Um, and yeah. It's not good. All right, what else? Do, do we have anything else or is that it? Two, no, three. Da, 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 da. There's the Hulk. Wie wenn die stand. Das Hulk Spiel gab's auch zu sehen, war aber für uns nicht so ultra spannend. Zeigen wir euch irgendwann später. Oh my God, we haven't done that in a while. Okay, let's try to open up my browser. You can make a mod for like an update to Madden with all the new outfits and players, and it look like new EA game. Well, speaking of like that in a weird way, you know, Tecmo Bowl people constantly update the rosters and like there's like a community of people playing online which is kind of fascinating to me all right let's try it let's try it night cafe i'm gonna use the expensive one absolutely uh where is night cafe on this laptop there it is. Start the game. Or just just Roy from Super Mario World or Roy. Yeah. Well, let's see. We could try them both. The Incredible Hulk was shown today, despite it being watched, shot down by copyright. Makes me sad. Uh, hold on. I hate how they keep putting me in the new interface. I don't like the new interface. All right, Roy as a robot. Let's see. I believe this is the expensive one, right? Sorry, it just takes a while for my laptop to load this up. Here we go. Uh, okay. Let's try it in the cyberpunk theme. Four images. You got an audio only ad? 2K is going to do FIFA now. Really? <clears throat> About to ruin EA Sports? That'd be fascinating. 2K, you know, the NBA games are... Uh, they're too difficult for me, but... Um, oh, wow. Get it, Ginger. Okay, let me download this image. This takes forever. You know what? I'll do two of them, Frosty. So we'll try. I don't think I've ever gotten them before. Yeah, I'm doing two different styles. I know, right? Um, eh, kind of disappointing, but I'll show you. Let's download that. Download that. Hopefully this doesn't break my stuff. 
open image and downloads okay this is one of them <laughs> he's got that's actually a pretty good letter r i'll give it that that's like a legitimate r kind of the bottom left one kind of looks like a mega man boss a little bit I like how he's got like wings in the top right. Which of these is the most Roy? I don't even know. I mean, bottom left? None of these are really that Roy. Bottom right, yeah. Fourth one looks like Roy, I guess. All right, well, how about this one, you guys? Cyberpunk. That's actually kind of cool looking. I like that bottom right one. I mean, it doesn't really look like Roy, but Which one do you think is most Roy for this one? I'm gonna go top left, maybe. Looks like his little minions trolls and a-holes on the internet. <laughs> top right's cool. Yeah. The top right is very glowy. So is the top left. Get it, Skittles. Looks like a video game enemy you're blanking on. I don't know. It looks like maybe something you get from Rage. Remember that game Rage or Rage 2? But much more cyberpunky. Plock. Oh my god, Plock. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Konzentrieren uns lieber auf die hier Eindrücke ein paar das was ihr hier mit dem größten Controller aller Zeiten. Wichtigste Neuerung an Line of Contact, es wird Xbox Live tauglich. Ihr könnt also online gegen andere Verrückte antreten, die 200 Euro für einen Controller bezahlt haben. Wie zum Beispiel... Get it, Skittles. <lacht> oh, it's a zombie. Das, was ihr hier seht, ist Onimusha Blade Warrior. Onimusha. Immer eine ganze Menge Spiele. Spiel Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Oh mm. my god. What is this game? Ja, das müssen wir uns nicht lange geben. Wir nehmen stattdessen lieber ein richtig gutes. Das ist part of my mind. That is, I don't know why you came up with Plock all of a sudden. One of them looks like Hubert. Oh, okay, I can see the Hubert. Spiel und das wäre zum Beispiel Colin Mac, der amerikanischen Variante von Deutschland. Oh my God. Superstar. Das heißt dort Code Masters. American Idol und die Lizenz daran hat sich Code Masters gesichert. I need to play this. This is a new game for me. Maybe I should just play all the American Idol games. There can't be that many, right? Das hier wird das Spiel dazu. Uah. Uah. Ja, nicht lange geben. Wir nehmen stattdessen lieber ein richtig gutes Spiel in seinem Spiel vorspielen. Wir bringen alle Spiele noch mal begutachten. Logo. Stand. Stand. Gran Turismo 4. There's twin snakes. Außerdem zu sehen. Still don't know what Star Fox game that is. <coughs> das neue Star Fox. You guys know what Star Fox game that is? Wir zeigen euch hier mal kurz den vier Spieler Modus und ein paar weitere. 
Karaoke Revolution, American Idol the Video Game, American Idol Star Experience. Eindrücke vom neuen Star Fox. Mich persönlich hat es nicht so umgehauen. Ich hätte mir etwas mehr gewünscht. Three American Idol Games. Like, I seriously don't know what Star Fox game this is. Bestimmt eine nette Multiplayer-Ballerei und auch sonst. No Skittles. Hey, Babies. Nettes Action-Spielchen für zwischendurch. Da oh my god. Aber, wie gesagt, ist auch noch früh für Star Fox. Warten wir erstmal ab, was da noch kommt. Viel besser gefallen hat mir F-Zero. Das Ding ist mal Cockpit. Cockpit? Das, was ihr hier seht, bin ich beim Spiel Hitmarke. Totale Cockpit? Ab und da Booth Babes. Stand ohne einen gewissen Blau. your Sonic. Hier. Sonic kehrt zurück in Sonic Heroes, das für alle Plattformen erscheint. Billy the Hatcher war über... Yeah, it might be a Scrap Star Fox game. Uh, I'm really curious now. I'm gonna look this up. Star Fox E3 2003. Super curious about it. Star Fox E3 2003. Star Fox Assault on GameCube, it's called. What year did it come out? 2005, it says. So apparently it came out? It did come out, 2005. Reception. It received a lot of sevens. A lot of sevens. Welcome back, John. I was just learning about Star Fox Assault, which I never even knew was a thing on GameCube. Star Fox 2 prototype? No, I think it's Star Fox Assault. Star Fox 2 was that one that came out on the uh, SNES collection, right? That never got out. This, this one, Star Fox Assault. Yeah, I think I think the one they were showing is Assault. I think I could be wrong. No, maybe you're right. Star Fox 2. Unless they changed the name. Cuz Star Fox Assault came out right around this time period. It came out in 2005. Just kidding. Game came out, but did not look like that. Huh. Weird. Links für den GameCube. Ähm, GameCube? Ninja Spiel. Ninja Spiel. Das ist Tecmo durchaus auch um andere Dinge. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. gonna watch this for a while <laughs> oh my gosh look at the camera right I agree Saki this is so cringe That would be perfect for that guy that filmed a woman. I know, right? And the guy in Zelda that constantly creeps on girls. Look, it's still going. What are we doing here? What? What? While you're crafting? Well, we're going to call it soon. I appreciate you coming back. And for the sub yesterday. The day before. Um, I'm going to... I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's the same guy. What are, we, what are we doing here exactly? Wer es geschafft hat, hey, den Blick von den Bikinis abzuwenden und ein He said Bikinis. So this Ninja Gaiden was made by Tecmo? Mal auf die Monitore zu. Gibt es in der nächsten Ausgabe. Bei THQ. THQ? Oh hell yeah, dude. Those wrestling games. 
On the N64, are my favorite pro wrestling games ever. Wir sind sehr gespannt auf das Endergebnis, da uns die ersten beiden Teile zu sehen. NBA Jam kommt für alle ganz kleinen, kuscheligen Meetingraum eingemietet, den ihr hier mal im Überblick seht und zeigten There einige it is, ihrer angekündigten Spiele, zum Beispiel Knights of the Old Republic. Remember all the cosplay? Yeah, it, it's always könnte, been a thing. Well, fragt. not always. Hier seht ihr ein paar that was the origin of cosplaying? I don't know about that. It, it did increase. It's Konami. Eat or die. That's okay. I assume, I assume Snake Eater actually eats Snake. Or Big Boss or Solid Snake, whatever the hell his name is in this game. I assume he actually eats Snake. Otherwise, what are we doing here? Snake and nails for breakfast? I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit? A smattering of applause. That moves in twilight. The hell? There is a shadow. That strikes without warning. There is a soldier who has. Okay, I can't. Oh, this is StarCraft Ghost, yo. Let's actually watch this. I'm curious about this now. StarCraft Ghost. A game by Blizzard that never came out, uh, but we did get some source code for it not terribly long ago. StarCraft. Let's Google it. See if we can get any more information. StarCraft Ghost. Yeah, it was announced in 2002. It was developed by Nihilistic Software, <clears throat> being... Well, it says developed by Blizzard, but then it says it was to be developed by Nihilistic Software, which I never heard of before. What did they do? Vampire, The Masquerade, Redemption. That's the only thing they did. They did Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects, PlayStation Move Heroes, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Yeah, okay, so this game never came out, but they did, yeah, there's the leak. So it was 2020, it just appeared. Yep, okay, let's watch it. Starcraft Ghosts. A game that never came out. By Blizzard, of all people. a shadow that strikes without warning. There is a soldier who has mastered the ways of the ghost. His voice is so dumb. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. And it is Blizzard, you know? They've always been a pretty good company when it comes to making games. Star 
There it is, StarCraft Ghost. Ghost reporting. And just like its name, Ghost, it was never to be seen again. Did you know Banjo Kazooie was originally going to be a dark jungle explorer game? I did not know that. Here's more Resident Evil 4. Or whatever. Yeah, stealth action. <clears throat> yeah, used to. No, nah, Blizzard still makes good stuff. They're just, they're a hot mess and, and, uh, a lot of problematic corporate culture. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and defend Blizzard, but you know. It was canceled because Blizzard. That it's just one word. That's all you need to say. I know me too. It's fascinating to me. I wish these companies would release more information on it. Of that stuff. So here you go, John. Resident Evil 4. In the spooky mansion. <laughs> the hook man. No, it's not. Oh, Mario Golf! Yay! Yeah, John had that whole backstory of Resident Evil. It's not, uh... It would have been a very different game. <clears throat> More like one. Those are fun games. Me too. They had that new one which got decent reviews. I miss F Zero, that's what I miss. Well, we're just about done streaming today. Thank you guys. Three and a half hours, not bad. Not too shabby. Haven't even played the GameCube one. I don't know. I don't think I did. Oh, you mean F Zero? No, I, that I did not play. Hmm. Just because I didn't play one mainline F Zero, not counting the portable, doesn't mean I don't like F Zero. Nintendo doesn't like F Zero. Ninja Gaiden. I feel like I would like that Ninja Gaiden Team Ninja game because I really like Team Ninja as a studio, and from what I heard, that Ninja Gaiden game is like really difficult. So it feels like a game that I would like. This Fable. Kilo 2-3 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recon. What is this game? It's your call, Sergeant. We're going in. <laughs> Get tactical, Marines! Yeah. Covenant ground forces own this city. We'll need to deal with them before we can kill that cruiser. Stay frosty, Marines. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. What is that? Of course, Sergeant. Oh, okay, I get it now. It's in German. Chief, hang on. What a boring ass city. So, Zeitsprung. Hundertprozentig sicher, ob das wird. Grabbed by the Gullies. What the hell? Wer ist denn das? All right, that's 2003, guys. Um, we still have a little bit more video footage. I mean, I have that eight hour video, but I don't know how much fresh, oh, what is that? The This is the end gauge. Oh my God, the fucking end gauge, dude. Do you know they released an Elder Scrolls on the, on the Nokia end gauge? Remember Twitch things? I do. I miss it. I would totally do it again, but I think they got rid of it. What the hell are we skipping? Boiling of the E3, die hatten ja auch vorher eigentlich nichts dort zu suchen. Jetzt machen sie aber das Endgame. So if I didn't have to work, yeah, I would. I could totally do it. Oh my god, the Nokia N-Gage. I kind of want one of those. H, das ist so eine Mixtur aus Handy und Handheld. Und wir haben damit gespielt und müssen... Look at that thing, man. They put an Elder Scrolls on that fucking thing. I think they put a Crash Bandicoot on there. Oh, I see why. I thought that was kind of random you mentioned that. <clears throat> yeah, I still got it. It's right up there. I still got it. I need to bust that out again. <laughs> yeah, don't ask how I know that. Classic quote. Talking about Sting. Sagen, wir sind recht angetan von dem Gerät. Das Ding hat seinen Platz in der Game Pro sicherlich verdient und wir werden uns auch in Zukunft noch damit beschäftigen. Look at that thing, dude. You could make calls from it. Square Enix zeigte ein neues Spiel. I need, you know what? I'm gonna look up when Square Soft became Square Enix because I feel like it was like right around this time period. Like 2002, 2003. 2002, I was fucking dead on the money, dude. Defunct 2003. I was, this, so this was right, right after their merger. Like they, this, this might be the first game they put out when they merged. Akengard? Japanisch Drago Dragoon. Dragon God, I remember that. Henry hatte Gelegenheit, sich mit den Entwicklern okay. zusammenzusetzen und ihn. I want to see more of the Nokia N-Gage. The Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Das bedeutet, wo können wir sein? Wir sind am. Okay, I think that's everything. Diesmal fünf Charaktere und könnt euch. Und basiert auf der gleichen Engine wie Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, deshalb sieht es genauso aus. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. <lacht> that's an easy one. Oh, I like that. Uh, boring. Oh, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's one. What's the hottest planet in our solar system? Don't look it up. What's the hottest one? I may have already asked that before. Yeah, I did already ask that before, didn't I? Hey. Wichtigste Neuerung, oh, ihr fahrt zu zweit auch. Saki says the portraits are different. Yep. It's even though Mercury, I never asked that. 
because I, I specifically I remember I thought I did once and I say specifically it's not Mercury because everyone thinks it's Mercury because it's closest to the sun but it's Venus because of its atmosphere its atmosphere ha has uh, the correct composition to be basically like a giant greenhouse einem Kart könnt auf Knopfdruck zwischen euren beiden Fahrern switchen und es ist wirklich putzig. It's like hot enough to melt fucking metal, like lead. It's hot enough to melt lead. Wie euer Beifahrer die extra Waffen auslöst, so zum Beispiel Pilze in den Auspuff befördert als Turbo oder die Schildkrötenpanzer nach den anderen wirft. Mario Kart. Vom neuen Star Fox. Mich persönlich hat es nicht. Okay. The boot babes. It does everything. All right. All right, Ali. That's a stream. Get it, Skittles. Let's just take a peek at this eight hour video. I, I don't know how it's eight hours. Which planet or solar system has the highest average surface temperature? <laughs> you son of a... You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's funny. I like how this clip fits nicely into the Game Boy Advance screen. You son of a bitch. Now releasing on Game Boy Advance. It's our new game called... You son of a bitch. Just staring at the Mario Kart screen. <clears throat> They have no idea what they're witnessing. The amazingness. It does, it fits so well. You son of a bitch. What the hell? What the hell is that? That's what she said. Ew, I thought it fit well too. Ew. What is this game? You know Nintendo has lo has lost it. If they start to publish that. <laughs> yeah. Mario's never gonna shoot hookers, but you son of a bitch is releasing on Game Boy Advance. Okay, I've never heard of this game before. I have no idea what it is. <sighs> Which natural satellite in our solar system is the highest density is known for the heaviest craters? Uh, I know. What's with all the solar system? Density and known for I I don't know. Is it our moon? Probably not. I have no idea. The smallest planet in our solar system is Mercury. Mercury. It's not Uranus. I'm posting some pics of my FF14 character Discord with some different classes. Okay, yeah, feel free. What is it says Frosty? A Twitch chat assistant is a program or bot. Frosty, you know, that's what it is. You're asking the question and it's providing the answer. <laughs> Stirred up the Trojan War by causing a quarrel between the guys over their beauty. I don't know. <clears throat> Narcissist? 
Mariana Trench. Um, this makes me want to play Jeopardy games. Is it Roy? I've never heard of Rhizom before. It's correct. I knew it. Oh, the video. Oh, the video got corrupted again. My eight hour video just doesn't want to download. I think it's too big. But we did get a lot more this time. We got. This is the solution. We're running through the power behind the throne. Five hours at least. Yeah, like. Is this, uh... Oh, Lord. Is it Hey You Pikachu? Is that what that game is? What the hell's a Pokemon Mini? No, it's not Roy. It's not Roy. I wasn't physically present. Yeah, prove it, tough guy. So we got most of the video downloaded before it got corrupted. Uh, <clears throat> we got like six and a half hours worth. Three may not look like a drastic improvement on Metal Gear Solid Two. And finally, the number one PC game. Which just so happens to be our number one pick for best game overall show. Oh, this is good. 2003, Valve's Half Life 2. There you go, Half Life 2, best in show. You just recently made me my character. I'm playing as a female. That's cool. I hope it doesn't like cost you a lot to change your character. I hate when games punish you for trying to respec or. I cannot answer. I do not have enough information. What? More and more games are using physics to make their gameplay feel dynamic and directly interactive. But no game models ordinary objects like Half-Life 2 does. A tech demo showing how the gravity gun can pick up and manipulate uh, anything in the world, from mattresses and people to the broken Cannot pretend that the figure sign, responsible <coughs> is the name Roy. But perhaps Such a buzzkill, man. The moments when you'll blockade a door with a desk wooden boards, and a mattress to try to prevent an alien opponent from chasing uh, you. I'm going to open up Discord after I end the stream right very shortly Plus, and check everything out. Armor vehicle shake from the impact of machine gun fire is a good engaging a turbo. This reminds me of Disaster Report. Oh my god. You big shot? Oh. I can't believe you're the guest of honor at such a humongous party. Cut it up, man. I need to play this. Smother the blaze. What is this? No. I never want to say anything like that again. Never. Rescue terrified souls. I wanted to he clarifies it not right. Every real party needs a good party trick. This is so good. You want to see mine? Jason Hunt. This remind doesn't this remind you of disaster report? My God, I'm I'm googling that right now. Firefighter FD18. That looks incredible. Firefighter FD computer game. 
Produced by Konami. Uh, released 2004. Critic reviews are 6.8 IGN. 7.5 on IMDb. Um, yeah, it was developed and published by Konami. He's straight up repeating his sentence. Yeah, you guys are really breaking him again. Dedicated and skilled firefighter who risks their life to protect others. Okay, that's like a real thing. You can't do it, Frosty. Damn it, I want to play Firefighter FD18. So good. Here you go, John. Mix and anime. This is all for you, my friend. Competition? Cooperation? Actually, kind of looks fun. I'm not gonna lie. It looks good too. Like the art. Nice color palette. <clears throat> nice animation. Gotcha force. Wait, I've heard of that. Is that Pachinko? There you go. Alright. Feels like, feels like. How can we bring Bilbo to the market in a way that, that would fit for the modern audience? How can we bring Bilbo to the market, you guys? Here, Bomba, try this! He's not driving straight down the door. Bomba? He is gonna have to fight his way through a bunch of stuff. We did something yesterday where, uh, where it's uh, it's cold and it's rainy. So yeah, I've, you know, I have a little That's bit like too. Like that. My goodness, it's cold. We wanted environments where, when you walk in, you would uh, really want to explore everything. You wanted something that that would. They made a Bilbo game. Your view. Cameo. Hey, there it is, Frosty. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, but yeah, I think that was Half-Life 2. It's very old. Called it. It's still in Japanese, so they haven't... Uh... Which one? Is it Superstars is the first one? Saga, yeah, yeah, there we go. Thank you, yep. And there's Mario Golf again. Double dash! Is this Mario Party? Waluigi Stadium. Mario right, Party 4. Yeah, in the DLC. That's true, good point. It was peak, peak Mario Party. 
Uh, the graphics look solid, man. Like, graphics look good, still. <clears throat> Capcom Studio A presents an ancient evil. Mr. Mario songs had those cute GameCube samples. Very charming. Like the ones in Daisy Cruiser and that Mario Golf. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of GameCube, but it certainly had a lot of charm to to it in general. Like even just the look of the system itself. N64 is a classic, but super janky. Wii, Wii U, and 3DS sucked balls. What? DS was good. Switch was a redemption. Damn, that's harsh. I think the Wii's overrated and the Wii U's underrated, but and the 3DS sucked balls. That's I don't. I, that's I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know about that. I can't agree. Yeah, I did just skip over Metal Gear Solid. We seen it. <clears throat> ah, we seen it. He's seen it. Pikachu? It's Pikachu. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, got you. You know, it's kind of funny because the first line when you said um, "64" is uh, like janky, classic but super janky. Like you're kind of summing up the entire system right there. You know? I think this is Hello Pikachu, isn't it? Yeah, I did read your message. When you said the N64 is classic but super janky, I was like, oh, you're summing up the system. That's just the N64. Um... Yeah, I think this is the game. There was a Pikachu game where you like you had to use your microphone to talk to Pikachu, right? If I'm not mistaken. You don't think you ever beat a game on it? Wow. Well, it was it was the multiplayer system. Like it was the couch co-op system. And like I played the shit out of games with friends couch co-op stuff. So like I mean, I obviously beat Ocarina of Time. I obviously beat 100% in Mario 64, F Zero, 100% of that Mario Kart. Gales of Darkness, or is it? The audio's jacked. Oh, ah. God. It was some trash. Speaking of trash, right there, you just saw trash. Pokemon Stadium. I, I'm aware. I know that game. What was that one game? I think it was PS2 called Dumb. Was it? Was it Monster Rancher? It was a game where you would put in any. CD or like DVD you put in a system it would create a monster out of that a unique monster I can't remember what it was called Pokemon Coliseum yeah Saki the audio is all jacked up 
There's sound effects, kind of. Pokemon Coliseum. Okay, there you go. And that's it. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. 2003, not my favorite E3. I'm just gonna say that. Stadium, Stadium 2, Coliseum, and then whatever that is. Castlevania, oh god. Man, what a bummer with Castlevania, the 3D series just never did well. The console half mainline, half spin-off Pokemons for the N64 and GameCube. Dude, I need to find that monster game. Lulu, monster video game. Put discs in. I guess it might, yeah, it was Monster Rancher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First release for the PlayStation in 1997. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So you would put in C CDs for this game, not DVDs. And it would give you a unique monster. So cool. Um. Its own environments. It has its own characters. It has its own locations. However, when you start to play all three threads, you start to realize they're actually interconnected and you start going back into locations that you've seen on other threads. So they have their own locations, but they have shared locations. And in these shared locations, you and the other characters you play with, your NPC friends, Kim um, and Danny Parrish, carry out different roles. So you see them flying a helicopter while you're firing a gun out the side, but when the threads interconnect, you're the one firing the gun out the side as they fly the helicopter. And this gives us a completely unique structure that will enable most people to finish at least one of the threads. It might take about six hours. But what, what about game he's talking about? The hardcore gamer and the really keen gamer to go back and back and learn more and more about the game, see new locations, get new weapons, of which we've got well over 30, and ultimately learn an awful lot more about the world we've created. So, without any uh, more waffling on, I want to show you a bit of the game. Um, what we're trying to do is really raise the bar with what's expected from a PlayStation 2 game. Generally speaking, uh -huh. PlayStation 2 shooters and PlayStation 2 games in general use a technique called vertex lighting to create very bright, colorful environments. And that tends to be the standard technique. We're using full light maps, which means the lighting is often baked into the textures before you see it in the game. Okay. To use, certainly for a first person shooter where you need. Don't know, don't care. <clears throat> Seems to be into it. Yeah, well, he's he's clearly one of the developers uh, of the game, right? He's probably still making games. I mean, I assume he's one of the developers. The way he's talking in technical terms, this game kind of looks interesting, right? Probably still making games. <clears throat> Oh man, all right, I think we're gonna call it there though. I'm gonna get on Discord. Four hours, nice little four hour streamy poo. I'm gonna rank this E3. I'm giving it a uh, Seven out of ten. It had the Nintendo hookers line. It had a decent amount of cringe. Yeah, I think so. This, my schedule is going to be weird this week because of my two jobs schedule. So it's going to be a little weird. Um, probably not Thursday, my usual Thursday. So I'm going to have to swap that out for another day. 
It did give you the false hope. I did. Here scenario. Here our objective is uh, to protect the light general. And as always, there will be many ways of doing this. Many different strategies. I had the gamer kid story. Yeah, that was pretty epic. That game, that Xbox gamer kid story, was really good. <laughs> Legitimately, was pretty good. Old EA makes me sad. I want to back, especially I want like old old EA because like EA used to be a scrappy like company that wasn't just doing sports games. They did a lot of cool stuff. Um, I will say like EA has come back a little bit i know it's kind of a hot take but like they have their independent uh internal studios that are putting out little indie games uh the star wars stuff you know there's some promise there um i'm trying look i'm trying remember when ea was named worst company of the year i forget what publication did that but that was kind of a joke like they're bad but now that I agree with you, Saki. I just want E3 back at all. That's fantastic. Right. You're gonna show us some uh, some business today, right? Yep. Here we have like a multiplayer live game going on on here. It's kiosk. All these people are playing against each other right now. So. Appreciate it, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm gonna head on to Discord and uh, eat some food. I'm tired. Right, Lulu? Yeah? Have a good morning. Peace, y'all. No, uh, hold on. The Incredible Hulk will not be presented this evening.